Chapter 626, Status Quo After having lunch with regret that they were unable to attend the school banquet, Ryan spent the entire afternoon in the patrol and reinforcement of Azkaban Castle's defensive magic. While no one paid attention to the defensive magic, Ryan and Hermione contacted Lupin through the wolf head sculpture tie clip that had been strengthened before. After some communication, they got the latest situation and some acquaintances. Lupin told them that when Voldemort traded the Ministry of Magic, Percy first noticed that it was wrong, and then found his boss Miss Burns and his father, and used Ryan to give him the special door key to bring him. Madame, Mr. Arthur and the team members escaped to the burrow together before the Ministry of Magic was completely blocked. Now they are all well. The Weasley twins and some of the Hemp Wizard employees took part of the goods to the Hogsmeade branch. Fortunately, since the Death Eaters attacked Hogwarts at the end of last semester, Lane and the twins put the goods mainly in the werewolf base in Norway. There are not many stocks in London and Hogsmeade, so the evacuation of losses between this hasty is not serious. Seeing their retreat is timely after engaging in it, because less than ten minutes after their retreat, a group of wizards wearing black robes and masks covering their faces sees the Weasley joke shop on Diagonally in the name of the Ministry of Magic. After getting the news that the acquaintances were safe and sound, Ryan and they sighed with relief. Hermione then asked the liaison, What about Professor Dumbledore and his classmates now? They have all entered the Hogwarts castle safely now, Lupin said. They used magic to accelerate the Hogwarts Express, and the train arrived at the station just 15 minutes ago. I think everyone now have entered the Hogwarts castle safely. Actually I am in Hogsmeade now, Lupin said suddenly after saying the whole situation. Dumbledore summoned most of the members of the Phoenix Society to gather at the Pig's Head Bar five minutes ago, and me too I just arrived from Norway. Most of the information that comes now is confusing and inconsistent, so apart from certain confirmed acquaintance information, I can only tell you after this party is over. By the way, didn't you fast track to the school with Hogwarts? After talking about the information he had collected before, Lupin suddenly responded and asked, How are you asking everyone's situation now? We are now in Azkaban. Professor Lupin, Hermione said, this is our initiative to prevent the mysterious person from sending Death Eaters to control this vital magic prison. How is it going? Lupin asked. Is there anything I need to tell President Dumbledore? A group of dozen Death Eaters just attacked Azkaban. But we have all been driven away. Hermione briefly introduced the battle just now. We judge that the enemy will not attack here again, but the manpower in this place is seriously insufficient and the magic circle was just broken. We now need the principal to send enough support personnel and materials to strengthen the defense here. No problem. I will tell you what your request is like Principal Dumbledore. Well, now I'm going to run to the pig's head bar. At this point, Lupin ended the communication. A mess, Hermione said after the communication. I was wondering if we would do our best to investigate before, would we stop this catastrophe? It's unlikely. Ryan knew that Hermione had a sense of guilt from some survivor, so he put his hand on Hermione's shoulder to comfort him. This time the Ministry of Magic can be occupied so quickly. I believe that the mysterious person definitely has enough internal response in the Ministry of Magic. Think about it, none of the intelligence networks built on Professor Dumbledore's more than 100 years of experience in the magic world predicted this attack in advance. What can those of us who have been in the magic world for only six years do? Watching Hermione nod her head and agree with her point of view, Ryan went on to say, Now this situation is just converting the previous hidden war into an open war and things are not too bad. We just need to cooperate with Dumbledore. Professor Leggio ended the war and won the victory at the end. And you don't think it is better than before. At least we know who is the enemy and who is the friend. We can do our best to exert our power. You're right. Hermione's emotions also adjusted at this time. Besides, this war is not what we have estimated before. This is also an opportunity for us, an opportunity for change. In the following time, Ryan, with the help of Hermione, repaired and improved Azkaban's defensive magic. It wasn't until the sky was completely dimmed that Ryan who used sandwiches on the roof to deal with dinner finally received the news from Professor Dumbledore. The news came from the contact room downstairs, after meeting with the director of Burns. Professor Dumbledore successfully received the various communication facilities of the Ministry of Magic. After ensuring the safety of the students, he began to contact the locations of the Ministry of Magic to calculate the situation of the enemy and the enemy. Dot. This is also no way, because after Voldemort captured the Ministry of Magic, it has remained silent, so the locations controlled by the Ministry of Magic have a variety of attitudes. There are those who strongly support the Ministry of Magic, whoever controls the Ministry of Magic will support whoever, and some who have been controlled by the Death Eaters will declare support for Voldemort. There were also those who decided to join Dumbledore after being summoned by Dumbledore. There were even small-scale exchanges of fire at several points where Death Eaters and members of the Order of the Phoenix and Dumbledore's supporters contested control after confirming that Voldemort had captured the Ministry of Magic. In short, 
The entire wizarding world in Britain is in chaos. It's great to hear the news that Azkaban is in our hands. Dumbledore's face appeared on the double-sided mirror in the communication room, at his magic level plus what Miss Burns gave after the Ministry of Magic Key. He easily took over the Ministry of Communications entire communication network www.mtlnovel.com How is your situation now? The group of Death Eaters who tried to pick up the cheap just now has no enemies to attack after being taken away, Lane said. And I have repaired the magic defense of the Azkaban castle that was just destroyed. But now we are in great trouble. Ryan began to focus on what he had done just now. We have eliminated all the Dementors, which means that Azkaban needs to draw more manpower to guard the prisoners. But we still have to guard the castle now so there is not enough manpower. Not to mention Azkaban was previously locked into a lot of innocent people who were caught by mistake and needed to send judges to screen. In short, we need more staff now. Apart from more people, what else do you need? The headmaster looked tired when he spoke. It seems that Voldemort's raid today was beyond his imagination. As the greatest white wizard, he now has countless things to deal with. Materials, especially enough magic materials, Ryan said solemnly. The food and water reserves here are enough. We and the prisoners can spend more than a month here. But there are too few magic materials. Now we can only say that it is barely repaired and strengthened a defensive circle. I want to do more. What is basically impossible? Okay, I understand. Dumbledore nodded slightly. You now give me the list of required materials and your newly set Azkaban magic defense key. Tonight I will ask someone to deliver the materials to you. As for the new manpower, it may take you a while. Because after the Ministry of Magic was raided, I really couldn't find someone who could replace you to defend Azkaban. Chapter 627 situation. The afternoon after the conversation with Dumbledore, a young wizard appeared on the island outside of Azkaban. After taking the password to the door by boat, he brought Lion the supplies he needed. John, what's the situation outside now? Albert greeted him and asked that the person he recognized was a younger -er, because he had the same reason because he was born of a hemp wizard. Dot. It sucks. The younger -er shook his head. There is now chaos outside, and small-scale conflicts have erupted in many places. The only certainty is that we are in full control except Hogwarts and Hogsmeade and only you are here. I am from Hog. When Watts set off, he saw that Dumbledore had ordered that some empty classrooms in Hogwarts Castle be vacated for those who fled empty-handed. After he walked over to Ryan, he handed him a bag around his waist. You are Ryan, I think there should be only you as an Asian. Principal Dumbledore asked me to tell you that because of the chaos in the current situation, you need people there are many places. He can't send anyone to help you. I hope you can take the people here to ensure the control of Azkaban Castle and protect the north of Hogwarts Castle. I will do my best to keep it here. Ryan took the bag and nodded. Then the younger left here after nodding with everyone after registering the addresses of the relatives present. According to what he said before, Principal Dumbledore should try to protect every innocent person from harm, especially the families of those who fought on the front line. This is why there is no manpower there. A lot of people are sent to protect the families of the soldiers, and strive to send those people to a safe place. That night, the guards of Azkaban could hardly sleep. At the top floor of the castle, Lane and Hermione walked on the roof in the name of patrol. How is the prisoner downstairs now? Ryan asked. All prisoners have no wands, so the problem is not big now. Hermione said. Those minor prisoners, especially those who were arrested by mistake, cooperated with us. We also promised to increase the material treatment given to them and we will try them again soon. Now we are worried about the impact of those prisoners and dementors. The force will slowly decrease after they disappear, and I worry that the prisoners will cause us trouble. Don't worry, it may be because there is really no staff available recently. Principal Dumbledore's materials before compensation are very uniform, and even a lot of magic materials are given. I can prepare some magic circles to ensure that the scumbags have always been in a state of weakness. For the rest of the night, Ryan directly took out an alchemy station and began making magic arrays against the criminals. After the last time he studied from Silver Moon City, he could choose more magic than he used to. Soon, a magic array combining dizziness, suppression, extreme despair, touch of fatigue, and weak energy was designed, and the powerful negative energy surrounding the entire castle became this magic array. The best energy supply, which also successfully suppressed the regeneration of Dementors all night. Ryan spent a lot of time making various arrays and installing these arrays in the convict prison area. When the sun rose, everything was completely done. Ready. In the first tray of sunshine in the new day, Ryan launched this magic circle. All the light in the prison cell area on the top floor of the entire castle seemed to return to its original form after being dimmed at the same time. Magic is working. Hermione stood in the hall of the prison cell area and looked at the cells on both sides of the corridor. Because of her sensitivity to the power of death, she felt a faint death in each cell. Breath. Yes. I can guarantee that the prisoners who stay here under the influence of these magics will feel exactly the same as when they were guarded by Dementors in the past, Ryan said stretched out here. We can take a good rest and stay busy, and we didn't close our eyes all night. This sleep didn't wake up until the afternoon. When I got up and was going to eat something, 
I saw that most of the people around the lounge were listening seriously in front of the radio. There was a never heard from the radio. The hoarse voice, according to the order of the new minister of the Ministry of Magic Pierce Sinkins, the Mulberth registration will be conducted from today on, and the investigation of the so-called Mulberth will be conducted to understand how they possess the magic secret. Department of Mystery The latest research shows that magic can only be inherited through the fertility of wizards. From this, it can be seen that if there is no proven wizard blood, People of the so-called Mull origin may acquire magical abilities through theft or violence. The Ministry of Magic is determined to eradicate those who misappropriate magical abilities. For this reason, everyone who is called Mull origin is invited to interview the newly appointed Mull Birth Registration Committee. At the same time, the Mull Birth Registration Committee is authorized to take all actions, including the deadly spell ensures that this policy can be carried forward. Well, the above is all the content broadcast today. Let us remember that magic is power. With a snap, the radio was turned off. Ryan asked looking at everyone with an ugly expression. Is there any news? A lot of bad news. Henry turned his chair and said, except for the decree just now, now President Dumbledore and the director of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement, Burns, are all wanted. What? Hermione opened her eyes in disbelief. Why is this? Did they commit any crime? Just now, the new Minister of Magic Sinkins declared that Scrimgeour was killed because Miss Burns murdered him under the direction of Dumbledore. In addition to Miss Burns, her associates also have Arthur Weasley and Percy Weasley. They are called the Usurper Group on the radio. It's shameless, Lane said angrily. Actually using such rough methods to plant stolen goods, would anyone believe their lies? At least no one present here believes this www.mtlenovel.com because Dumbledore wants the position of the Minister of Magic as long as he stands up and speaks, Henry said. Although under the operation of a large number of Death Eaters inserted by the mysterious people at that time, the Ministry of Magic fell very quickly. However, Many exchanges of fire yesterday and the 180 degree change of the Ministry of Magic policy today made everyone guess that all this is mysterious. People instruct behind. But the problem is that, except for places where some Death Eaters can't reach it, others just said in private that they didn't dare to confide in each other, and don't know who can believe. Albert answered, My young I went through the last period of mysterious man's reign, and it was like that at that time. Everyone did not dare to talk freely. They knew what the actual situation was, but they were afraid to speak up and saw the dark mark hanging on themselves after returning home at night on the roof of the house. So, the mysterious man is still very cunning, Ryan said, knowing his reputation is terrible, and if he announces the usurpation may lead to public resistance, so hiding behind the scenes causes confusion, suspicion and fear. Then what do we do now? Albert asked, precisely because he had experienced the dark moments before, so he now looks a bit of a godless, and everyone else is similar. When Albert asked Ryan, looking at Ryan with hopeful eyes, we will stay here until the successor arrives. Lane comforted everyone. I think that while the principal Dumbledore is still there, it is impossible for the mysterious person to give up the suppression of the Ministry of Magic and attack here. And by relying on the castle's own magical defense system, I believe that it is impossible to rely on the Death Eaters alone. Attacked. Moreover, since President Dumbledore agreed, you can certainly protect your families. You don't have to worry too much about it. Chapter 628 Global. What Ryan didn't think of was that he thought he only needed to stay here for a day or two before Professor Dumbledore could solve all the problems and send someone to replace them. As a result, three days and three days later, until one morning a week later, a team of five led by Moody arrived here to replace Lane. Sorry, let you wait a little longer here, and now we have finally organized a team to replace you. You can return to school now, let us hear. Moody said after seeing Ryan here, yes. Professor Dumbledore is waiting for you in the school's principal's office. He seems to have something to tell you. Okay, let me tell you how these new magical defense systems are used. Then I will go back to school with Hermione together. After everything was explained, Ryan and Hermione found them moved from the hall. The shape left. Before they left, they saw the guards of Azkaban smiling. It should be that they got the news that their loved ones were safe and sound. After a snapping sound, Ryan and Hermione appeared outside Hogsmeade. In the case of war, it is more appropriate to hide some things as much as possible because hiding one more day will give you one more day's advantage. What is going on? Why did everyone come to Hogsmeade? Hermione looked at the surrounding scene strangely. There are many colorful tents outside the town of Hogsmeade, and many wizards are walking around in the middle of the tent. It looks the same as the Quidditch World Cup. To say the biggest difference from the World Cup that year, it can only be said that everyone's face is not a smile, but a sad face. After crossing Hogsmeade that way, Ryan noticed that many people living in tents can be classified as old, weak, sick, and not as helpers as Dumbledore found. Maybe everyone came here to seek the protection of Professor Dumbledore. It seems that the British magic world is indeed a mess. Lane thought of coming to Hogwarts with Hermione in this way. Now the gate is closed, and there are still a group of people patrolling inside. Ryan, are you back? After seeing Ryan standing at the door, the team of patrolling wizards came over, 
led by Percy Weasley. He came to help open the school door. You did a great job. We all heard from Hogwarts light, Percy said excitedly. Come in quickly, by the way. Principal Dumbledore told me to tell you to go to his office as soon as you come back. Thank you, Moody has informed us of this news. We will pass now. Ryan nodded to Percy and walked down the road towards the castle. This time is the time of class, and there is quietness in the corridor. When he came to the door of the principal's office, Ryan just remembered that when Dumbledore didn't seem to tell them what the password was today, the two monsters at the door of the office automatically jumped to both sides, and then the stairs slowly rotated upward, stepping up the stairs to the oak door. The bronze handle on the door spun automatically. The door opened, and Professor Dumbledore, who looked tired, was sitting there looking at a document. After hearing the sound of the door, he raised his head. Ah, it's Ryan and Hermione. You should be busy this week. Now you are sitting here to take a break and eat something. I will tell you after I have finished processing the document at hand. After speaking of his wand, two comfortable armchairs with a small coffee table appeared in the principal's office. On the coffee table in the middle of the armchair, there is also a large silver plate filled with various snacks a teapot with hot black tea and two teacups. Ryan and Hermione ate and drank unkindly after sitting down. When Moody came to change shifts today, they came directly, which led to them not having breakfast at all. At about the same time, Professor Dumbledore had finished the job at hand. He looked at the almost empty plate and asked, Azkaban's food is terrible? Do you want to come again? Thank you, no need. We are full, Ryan said after drinking the rest of the tea in the cup. When there was a Dementor before, these wizard guards needed to use food and entertainment to maintain their morale so the food in Azkaban was actually similar to Hogwarts. We were so hungry just because we hadn't been on duty this morning after patrolling yesterday you will be notified to return after eating. It's really sorry, Ryan. When you are hungry and tired, you will come to talk to me, Dumbledore said in an apologetic tone. But the current situation we must cherish every minute, because the situation is worsening. I understand, Ryan nodded. When I was in Azkaban, I listened to the wizarding radio in London through that radio, such as the Mulberth Registration Committee, such as you and Miss Burns being wanted. Yes. Yes, Dumbledore nodded. But this is not the worst, and the worst news is that Voldemort and his followers now completely control the magic and diagonal lanes in London and more than 90% of the production and trade of magic materials in the UK. I even have to when students take potion classes, they adopt a ration system to ensure that everyone has enough medicines to use. You are the greatest white wizard. How can this be embarrassed like this? Hermione asked somewhat puzzled. In fact, this is very reasonable. Dumbledore spread his hands. Most of the magic farms and alchemy materials production sites in Britain belong to those pureblood families. Now they have fallen to Voldemort and will naturally cut off to our supply. Speaking of which, Dumbledore looked at Ryan, and I must thank you. If you had established your own magical herbal plantation in advance and connected the trade with the heavens, we might even have the remaining 10% will not have. This is what I should do, Ryan said but I really didn't understand how the situation could be so bad. Obviously everything was normal. On the morning we came to school www.mtlnovel.com This is because me, an old man is too optimistic because of experience and self-confidence. Dumbledore smiled bitterly. I thought my deterrence and scrimptuous ability should deter those who are going to move. I didn't expect the Death Eaters to penetrate so deeply in the Ministry of Magic, and the control of the Ministry of Magic changed before I could. Only time to gather the exiles who have escaped. Ryan finally understood what was going on this time. Principal Dumbledore was not unprepared. He might even intend to use Voldemort to attack Voldemort before and after cooperating with the Ministry. At least in the conflict at the end of last semester, even Voldemort himself led the Ministry of Magic for several hours. So much time was enough for Dumbledore to gather his hands and attack after receiving the news. However, this time the situation changed suddenly, under the control of Yinying. Voldemort dropped the Ministry of Command's command core in an instant. Under such circumstances, the scattered sand Ministry of Magic cannot naturally resist Voldemort's control. Not to mention that after the war, Dumbledore's actions greatly compressed the living space of those pureblood families. Therefore, after Voldemort captured the Ministry of Magic, the pureblood families who actually controlled the Ministry simply fell to Voldemort and established a Ministry of Voldemort within a short time. In this way, those who tend to Dumbledore can only run away. This is the fundamental reason why the situation is now collapsed. The rapid fall of the Ministry of Magic has exposed a series of problems. So much so that everything happened for a whole week, and the Dumbledore side finally figured out everything from the chaotic state and re-established an order. Chapter 629, Beyond Expectations So what exactly did you call us here for today? Hermione asked directly as Ryan thought about these things. I believe you should not just tell us what is happening now. Of course not, I have something to discuss with you. Professor Dumbledore paused here and then said, Can you lend me some money? It's not just gallon, more money I also need. What? Ryan, who was considering the question just now, opened his eyes wide. Aren't you kidding me? Hogwarts eggs of this size and Hogsmeade are all here. How could it be possible to run out of money? But this is indeed the case. Dumbledore was also somewhat at a loss here, 
Perhaps it was the first time he borrowed money after he became the greatest white wizard, so he was very uncomfortable with the current situation. The operation of Hogwarts mainly comes from the funds of the Ministry of Magic and the donations of the rich school managers. But since the Ministry of Magic was controlled by Voldemort, these are all gone now, and most people fled to Hogsmeade and lost them. In the meantime, the Gilling Pavilion is now full of Death Eaters, and we have no way to withdraw money. Isn't Gilling saying you can send money directly to your door? Ryan asked. You let the Goblin send the money directly, it will not be over. They rejected me. Dumbledore spread his hands. The Goblin representative said that they could not participate in the Battle of the Wizards, but there were a few Goblin privately willing to provide me with a loan business but the interest was too high. It shouldn't be a private loan business. Ryan didn't believe that a goblin could bypass the series of supervisions at Gilling Pavilion and lend a large sum of money to Dumbledore. This could only be the group of goblins who wanted to make more money. Dot. Ryan is not wondering why Dumbledore found himself borrowing money. As an alchemist with a magic stone, he did not have money in the world in terms of secular finance. So he asked neatly, how much do you need? The more, the better, after Professor Dumbledore said that this was not appropriate. He added, the main reason is that it costs too much money to run a school. It costs 2,500 gallons every day. Dot. I have taken out my private property, but it is not enough. I don't have many gallons in my hand. Ryan's words dimmed as soon as he spoke out of Professor Dumbledore's eyes, but Professor Dumbledore immediately cheered up with the next sentence. But I have a lot of gold, precious stones, and various magical herbs. I think these are all needed for school operations, Ryan said. That's very good. Professor Dumbledore nodded. In fact, most of the money in school operations is used to buy all kinds of materials needed for life and teaching. With gold, those daily materials and consumables can be imported from the sky. Wizards over there are willing to accept our credit for buying magic items, but daily supplies must be purchased with hard currency. Because those things need to be purchased from mulls, they must use cash. Cash? But I don't have renminbi or pounds here, Ryan said scratching his head. And it will be difficult for these golds to be exchanged for the mulls currency in a little while. Ah. Don't worry about this, Dumbledore reassured. The wizard who sent the item last time told me that the muzz over there were willing to accept all hard currency, including gold. Just include it. There are gold, all kinds of food, clothing and everything you need for daily life can be easily bought. Speaking of which, Dumbledore even showed a slightly unbelievable expression. Did you know? The Danzao wizard told me that as long as they consulted with the Mull government according to the traditional process, the gold will be replaced by the Mull government for the local purchasing money for us is all we need. Our entire school and all the daily necessities needed by Hogsmeade under the castle can be shipped to us in a city in a short time, and this purchase will not cause the local Mull life any impact. I am really curious how they did all this without magic. At least I can't find a place in the UK other than London that can get so many things together at once. That is the factory of the future. It's not easy to make goods for consumption by thousands of individuals, Lyon thought. At this time, only the United States west of the ocean can have similar production capacity. As for the old Europe, it is now in the mid-1990s and the decline of the old Europe has begun to slowly emerge. It is estimated that the purchase of materials used by thousands of people like this will take many cities to run. Much more expensive. Okay, this is the wealth I carry with me. Do you see if this is enough? If not enough, I can mobilize more money in three days, Ryan said as he took a small space bag from his arms. Professor Dumbledore. Dumbledore opened his pocket, which contained 10 400 ounce gold bricks of international standards. In addition, there are three adult fist-sized transparent boxes containing cut natural red sapphires and diamonds. Although the size is not large, it is the best shot size on the market. These things come from New York, which radiates the world. After cleaning up the local gangster gunmen, the underground vault of the Federal Reserve Bank on Wall Street belongs to them. At that time, they obtained more than 7,000 tons of gold and a large variety of jewelry. The gold that Ryan brought out today belongs to that harvest. The wealth is enough to support Hogsmeade's next round of taxation. Dumbledore looked relieved and the recent financial problems did indeed put him under tremendous pressure, especially with a lot of money in the Gouling Pavilion in London. When you can't get it out, I have to say that the trouble caused by Voldemort's first control of the bank is indeed large enough. www.mtlnovel.com We will definitely give you priority when you have money, Dumbledore said. But now there is still a long time to win. In addition, even after winning, we still need a lot of money for reconstruction. So the time to repay, you mean we can't get the money back after we borrowed it, right? Hermione asked. Looking at the principal Dumbledore, she knew that Ryan was not suitable to refute the principal at this time, so she could only come out to seeing a white face. This is indeed the case, Professor Dumbledore said with his hands crossed. It sounds terrible, but I don't think I can deceive you here. Speaking of which, Dumbledore straightened up his body. But in addition to the long wait, I actually have another way to solve this problem, that is, the money is counted as your donation. At this point, Hermione waved his hand to signal what he wanted to say, quiet down and listen to him in detail. Of course. 
I will not let you donate in vain. Robbing wealth is the practice of Voldemort and the group of Death Eaters. I naturally will not do that. The reason why I suggest you donate is because I will give you the corresponding afterwards. Compensation. Isn't it the Merlin Medal? I guess it's useless even at the first level. Hermione said. Her words seemed harsh, but Dumbledore was not angry. The question of private wealth in the Western world is very important, so Hermione, in her capacity as a fiancé of Ryan, can replace Ryan to issue such a question to Dumbledore. Of course not. Dumbledore shook his head, and the Merlin Medal was issued by the Ministry of Magic but I have no right to intervene. What I want to discuss with you is that I hope you will become the director of Hogwarts. Chapter 630, School Manager, Hogwarts School Director, Dumbledore's answer really surprised Ryan. He did not expect that the principal would actually use this thing as a transaction. But I haven't even graduated, and if I remember correctly, the joining of Hogwarts School Managers requires the unanimous consent of all school managers. Ryan didn't think those pureblood families would agree that such a mud type in their eyes would become Hogwarts Manager but Dumbledore's next word surprised him. Now all the school managers have agreed, Dumbledore said after scratching his white beard. The Longbotham family, the Black family, and the Weasley family all agreed. They shouldn't be school managers, Ryan said. If I remember correctly, those school managers should belong to the ancient pureblood family. Yes, Dumbledore continued, but that was the past, and now they are not school directors, or that we are not Hogwarts now. What? What is going on? Ryan and Hermione asked at the same time. They couldn't figure out how they had just stayed in Azkaban for a week and how such a big change happened outside. This place is clearly Hogwarts Castle. Ah, by the way, you may not have known this before. Dumbledore raised a finger. On the third day after the start of the school, the Ministry of Magic announced that we are the stronghold of the rebels, and at the same time announced the establishment of a new Hogwarts under Voldemort's instructions and asked all students to go to the site after undergoing the bloodline review Hogwarts goes to school. He said it was Hogwarts. That's Hogwarts? Ryan was stunned by the operation of Voldemort's side. The heritage and true strength of a thousand-year-old school can't be changed by a brand change, just like the previous Peking University. Jade Bird carries the words Peking University, but it definitely does not mean that it is the level of Peking University. The vast majority of Slytherin students, nearly one-fifth of Ravenclaw students and individual Hufflepuff students have chosen the new Hogwarts, Dumbledore said with a helpless look. So on the second day of the announcement, I used the Hogwarts Express to send those students who wanted to leave back to London, and then picked up a group of Ministry of Magic staff and their families who were willing to come. This is simply Ryan understood the specific situation now, that is, whether Dumbledore's side or Voldemort's side is now accumulating strength and there should be no large-scale fighting on the performance stage. Instead, it is mainly based on the accumulation of strength from both sides to help the helpers. This is why there is such a train, because both sides hold people who cannot afford each other. Thinking of this, Ryan suddenly realized that the reason why Professor Dumbledore wanted him to be Hogwarts today was that he wanted to be on his side. After all, there are too many routes for him to choose from, and they do not need to be tied to the United Kingdom. A legend, an alchemist will be welcomed no matter where he is. For Ryan, except that he is absolutely impossible to be accepted by Voldemort's group because he is not a wizard family, he will be the most warmly welcomed whether traveling to Europe or the New World. Not to mention that because of his bloodline, he can even be perfectly integrated into the powerful magical world of heaven. Ryan likes to take everything with him from daily necessities to a lot of wealth. Especially for alchemists, the most important alchemy equipment and alchemy materials are all crammed into the world of grocery stores and other worlds. For him, this is very convenient when he needs to use alchemy equipment and can start working anytime, anywhere. You can also bring out what you need in a variety of situations, but in the eyes of others, such as Dumbledore, Ryan has always lacked a sense of belonging to the British magic world, so he brought everything on my body, it seemed to be ready to roll and run at any time. Later, whether it was to open the store and put the core production organization in Norway, buying houses in the non-magic world and relocating the family to the heavens, these actions further deepened everyone's previous impression that Lane was ready to run. So in order to draw Ryan to bind him to the British magic world, Dumbledore felt that he had to take some actions. As an old man in his 100s who has experienced so many ups and downs, Dumbledore naturally knew that simply shouting slogans would not be able to stay with Ryan. From the time that Ryan did not hesitate to let his loved ones emigrate and bring those wealth to him, he knew that Ryan was a person with his own ideas, and unlike Harry, he could do everything for a certain slogan of justice. And he believes that the most important reason why he has found Ryan's lack of belonging to the British magic world is that as a hemp wizard, Ryan can be said to have nothing in the British magic world except his own ability, and this ability is not because of if the location is changed, the original value is lost. Since there is nothing worth defending and missing in the UK, is it normal to feel no sense of belonging here? So this time Dumbledore directly took out the Hogwarts school manager's status as a bargaining chip in the Western world. The identity of the school manager is equivalent to a stepping stone to enter the upper class. Seriously, 
Ryan would be very excited if he acquired this thing a few years ago, but now that he has mastered multiple worlds, he has little interest in the status of the British magic world. Even Hermione was the same. In the second grade, she saw the injustice of the British magic world and wanted to change. But after traveling through countless worlds now, she felt that she needed to change, needed improvement. And there were too many people and things to save. The British magic world is only a very small part for her, and it is not worth her putting too much energy into it. But this kind of thing is always an obsession. Both Ryan and Hermione hope that their childhood dreams can be completed which is why they now choose to stay in the United Kingdom and fight Voldemort. So after a brief exchange through the branding of Phoenix www.mplenovel.com Ryan said very calmly to Professor Dumbledore, It is an honor for me to be the manager of Hogwarts. Please give us the list of expenses in a moment. We will fulfill the obligations of the school manager and donate the funds and materials needed for this year. Anyway, I need to thank you for your help in this critical situation. Dumbledore smiled. After signing a series of documents, Ryan and Hermione left the principal's office. Albus. I think you are looking away. Just after Ryan and Hermione left, a witch with a goatee and a smart face in a portrait on the wall of the principal's room. That boy has more secrets in his heart than you think. The chip you brought out doesn't seem to play the role you want. Phoenix, everyone has their own secrets. We can't ask everyone to expose their hearts to others. Dumbledore raised his head and looked at the portrait of the vice-chancellor. As for the role of chips, I think it's enough to let Ryan stay on our side. I don't think I have the right to ask others to dedicate everything to them. That's right. Albus. Only the sly black wizards will ask others to devote themselves to everything, and what we want to protect is this freedom of personal choice. Otherwise, we're different from those black wizards. What about it? An old witch with long silver hair curled said immediately. Thank you, Delice. Dumbledore looked at the portrait of Fine Yars after he finished speaking. Okay, okay, you are all saints, but I don't think you are the best choice to do this at this time. War is always cruel. The portrait of Fine Yars is still chattering, but this time everyone all started to be busy with their own affairs and no one listened to his nagging anymore. Chapter 631, School and War After leaving the principal's office, Ryan and Hermione didn't know what to do for a while. Now that the meals have passed, Ryan they don't know what class they should take at this time, because they were not in Hogwarts the previous week. So naturally I don't know what the schedule is for this semester. Simply go to the dormitory to get things packed, and they can't be messed up. After standing silly at the door of the principal's office for a while, they finally decided to return to the common room first. What they did not expect was that after they had just climbed into the Gryffindor common room, a few students who stayed in the common room without class saw the students and immediately gathered around them to greet them warmly and call them heroes. What they happened? Ryan asked after getting acquainted from a group of enthusiastic classmates, directly over the acquaintance Colin Clevi. Why do everyone call us heroes? Don't you know? Colin looked surprised. Nearly everyone here knows about your previous struggles on the Hogwarts Express and your perseverance in Azkaban. You are now the most powerful heroes on our side after the start of the war. By the way, can you tell us was the specific situation in the battle before? The light in Hogwarts was unclear. Wait, what is the Hogwarts light? Hermione came up and asked. Percy also said this Hogwarts light when he entered the door, and it sounded like some kind of promotional program or some kind of the name of the magazine and newspaper. Oh, by the way, you have been in Azkaban before. Colin made a look of surprise. The light of Hogwarts is a wizard radio station made by Senior Lee Kiodan and several classmates. They are on the second floor of the Screaming Shack in Hogsmead Town under the mountain. If you stand on the astronomical tower, you can still see the antenna of their radio station. Is this the battle of public opinion? Ryan thought that the reason why he and Hermione became the focus of propaganda was definitely because it was too ugly to lose with Voldemort before, so they must find some so-called heroes to boost morale. What about Death Eaters? Have any Death Eaters attacked here recently? Ryan asked. After they took over the Ministry of Magic, they couldn't stay in London so well all the time. This, I don't know very well, Colin said. I'm just a student, and the only way to get outside information is the Hogwarts Light Radio and the Prophet Daily. Now the Prophet Daily is full of nonsense, and Hogwarts Light there are not many programs broadcast by radio stations every day. Speaking of which he looked at Ryan who was a little disappointed and they thought for a while, then added, but on the night we arrived at the school, the explosion from Hogsmeade sounded sporadically for one night, and we could all hear it in Gryffindor's bedroom. The next morning Deng Brido told us it was just a scattered Death Eater attack. After that, as many wizards came one after another, both Hogsmeade and Hogwarts also formed a patrol. Then until today, I heard no sounds of attacks nearby, but listening to reports on the radio, there have been attacks and even murders in many places to the south. It sounds terrible. Ryan shook his head. I can only pray now that I will get better. It will definitely get better in the future. Colin Crivy looked confident. We have Principal Dumbledore, Savior Harry Potter, by the way, and even heroes like you. I believe we can definitely defeat the mysterious man to get the final victory. Yeah, 
we will win, Hermione said, she and Lane both feel that as long as everyone can guarantee such an optimistic attitude, this war will definitely not fail, when eating at noon, some of the consequences of this war will be most vividly displayed, there were only a dozen people sitting on the Slytherin table, and the people on the Ravenclaw table were less visible to the naked eye, the entire auditorium was quiet, everyone tried to lower their voices when they were talking, and occasionally a few people laughed so harshly, those who laughed in the silence quickly stopped laughing, and then lowered their heads continued to eat. Here just as Ryan and Hermione walked halfway to the long table, a somewhat deliberately low hello came over, looking down at the voice, Ryan found Ron was waving to them, and Harry and Ginny were sitting beside him, nice to meet you, Ryan put a piece of chicken on his plate as he sat down, and said, while eating, I patrolled one night last night, I came back directly when I met Moody this morning, then I went straight to the principal's office, I had been spinning around for 24 hours, which I ate in Dumbledore's office this morning, some sandwiches and cakes, I'm hungry and tired, it sounds terrible, especially in places like Azkaban, Ron shook his head, I can't imagine that you could stay there for a whole week just to feel a little tired, right, Harry said after swallowing the food in his mouth, people have privately claimed that you killed a lot of Death Eaters with Hermione when you last encountered an attack on the Hogwarts Express, isn't this true, it's true, Ryan looked at the people around him at a distance, so he told Harry, at that time, Hermione and I cooperated to kill 18 Death Eaters, we can be sure that all of them are mercenaries hired by foreigners from abroad, because all the elite were taken by the mysterious people to attack the Ministry of Magic, good job, Ron said when he heard Ryan's words, I should have given the Death Eaters some great taste, Ron's voice has attracted many people's attention, but unlike what he imagined, many people did not alienate them because of their previous killing after hearing this news www.mtlnovel.com but a face he came around with an excited expression and asked him and Hermione about the specific situation at that time, there was even a Hufflepuff girl who came over and thanked them, what's the matter, after spending more than 10 minutes, Ryan probably finished talking about what happened to him this week, after everyone left, he looked at Ron sitting across the table and asked, this is a very bad thing, Ron said, on the morning of the attack, the classmates in the auditorium received a total of four notification letters from relatives killed in the attack, and a dozen others. The family was injured in the attack. For example, the girl who just shook hands with you, his father was an error and was also scrimped to arrest guard. The same group died during the attack that day. Damn war. Ryan understood immediately. Many people have a tendency to be a virgin, and the more serious people tend to grow up in a peaceful and prosperous environment. But once the war broke out, the flames were close at hand and even involved their own loved ones. They will immediately wake up and then embark on the truly correct path. This is why, after learning that Ryan killed so many Death Eaters, most people did not fear but thought Ryan was a hero. The impact of the war is not just a change in everyone's mood. For example, the dishes and quantity on the table are much less than in the past, and listening to Ron's report, the operation requirements for everyone in the magic potion class and herbal medicine class it has become more detailed and will not provide almost unlimited amounts of materials for experimentation as before. From these things, it can be clearly seen that after the loss of the Ministry of Magic funding and the donation of a school director, Hogwarts funding gap has become very large. Ryan only hopes that the overall situation will improve after the injection of his money. Chapter 632, Servant After lunch, Ryan and Hermione went to Professor McDonagall's office to prepare for the semester's schedule. They ended up empty, and there was no one in Professor McDonagall's office. In desperation, they decided to return to the common room to see the situation. Unexpectedly, they actually saw Professor McGonagall who was about to enter the common room at the door of the common room. It's you. The two of you did work hard last week, and even Azkaban without Dementors is not a place suitable for human habitation. Not to mention that you have experienced two events that you should not have participated in at your age. The real battle, as the Vice-Chancellor who manages affairs. Professor McDonagall knows exactly what Ryan did exactly last week. Oh, please hurry into the common room. I have something important to inform everyone. This matter also has a certain relationship with the two of you. Related to us? Ryan was a little surprised, but he didn't ask anything, but followed Professor McDonagall directly into the common room. There is a large group of people clamoring in the common room. Everyone is enjoying the quiet time in the afternoon while preparing the textbooks and homework required for the afternoon class. After seeing Professor McGonagall come in, everyone stopped moving and looked at her. I have a notice to tell you, this notice is only for the 7th grade students. Professor McDonagall said with a parchment in his hand. So the 7th graders are coming with me now. Soon, in the curious eyes of other students, the 7th graders gathered. Professor McDonagall took everyone to the corner of the common room and opened the parchment with a magic to separate them from the others. In consideration of the current situation, the Ministry of Magic will temporarily organize a small-scale NEWT's test. This test is voluntary registration. If anyone wishes, I can register in my office before tomorrow night. It seems that after the fall of the Ministry of Magic Dumbledore's manpower is indeed seriously insufficient, 
so that it is necessary to temporarily select manpower from the seventh graders this year. However, Ryan felt that this was also a method. Many things had to be broken during the war, not to mention that the current situation was unprecedentedly bad. At least in the last war, the Ministry of Magic did not fall under Voldemort's control even in the darkest period. Naturally, considering that you took this exam one year in advance, it might be a hasty. Professor McGonagall rolled up the parchment in his hand and said, so after taking this exam, we will still do it again at the end of the semester. In the new TS test, anyone who is not satisfied with the results of this test can take the test again. After this test, those who reach the standard can apply for early graduation. After listening to Professor McGonagall's words, Harry and Ron's expressions were immediately excited. They knew that their current level of probability is unlikely to get a diploma through the exam. But since they can take the exam again at the end of the semester, they are happy to try it. Professor. Wouldn't it be the group of people in London who came to test us? Ryan asked as the professor was about to walk out of the common room. If it was a subordinate of the mysterious person who gave us the test, we would rather not take this test. Of course not. Professor McGonagall turned around and replied. Professor of the Wizarding Examinations Authority, Professor Gersten McGaban, also came to Hogsmeade with his two assistants. I preside over this exam for you. Speaking of this, Professor McGonagall paused. Of course, this exam may not look as formal as the regular exams in previous years but I can assure you that all the new TS documents you have are the same as the previous similar documents. Effectiveness. Of course, what I mean by recognition here is recognition in the Ministry of Magic now in Hogsmeade. If the war is won, these documents will be as efficient as the previous ones. If they fail may I Professor shrugged. People who want to take the exam don't need to consider this kind of problem anymore. After listening to Professor McGonagall's cold humor, Ryan slightly raised his lips, as she said, everything is now for the current war. Everyone has the freedom to choose to stand in line but also to bear the results of their choice. For example, this exam is actually a simple way to divide the camp. At least at this time, people who are willing to take the NEWT's exam organized by the Hogsmeade Ministry of Magic are at least anti-Voldemort's support for Dumbledore. In the current situation, many things bring risks on the one hand and opportunities on the other, especially after the Ministry of Magic, which was completely controlled by those pureblood families, was completely turned to Voldemort. The former director of the Enforcement of Magical Laws, which was temporarily established at Hogsmeade, Miss Burns was the Ministress Ministry of Magic. Shortages, even newcomers like Percy were given the position of team leader in charge of incident reversal. The same is true of other positions. For example, Mr. Arthur Weasley has now become the director of the Department of Magical Accidents and Disasters, and the director of the Magical Law Enforcement Division even needs to be part-time by the current Minister of Magic Miss Burns. This shortage of personnel means that the prospects of students now working in the Ministry of Magic will be much larger than those of the previous ones. Of course, Ryan decided not to sign up because he was interested in the position of the Ministry of Magic. But I feel that in this year's situation, I have a lot of things to do and I should not spend too much time on my student career. After Professor McGonagall left the common room, the public hall suddenly recovered from the noise. Many students in the lower grades gathered around and asked what Professor McGonagall said. In this noisy, Hermione approached Lane and whispered, Ryan, I think the behavior of those pureblood families is a bit strange. What do you think is wrong? Ryan asked. In my opinion, these pureblood families are similar to the top rich and nobles in the mull world. In theory, Shouldn't they bet on both sides? Why do so many pureblood families now completely fall to the mysterious people? E minutes expressed his inner doubts. It's completely different from the high society methods of dealing with people. It's simple, because there is magic here. Ryan whispered, unlike the world of moles, in the world of wizards, power, relationship, and wealth are not the most important. Only the power created by magic is it is the root of everything. You see that the reason why those pureblood families can protect them is not because they have wealth and status but because they monopolize some kind of knowledge www.mtlnovel.com a kind of energy make them more powerful knowledge than others. So it's also easy to understand why the mysterious man can make those pureblood families follow him firmly, because he is the most powerful black wizard. He has enough power to suppress every dissatisfied man, and as a black you don't expect much virtue from the group of wizards. For example, we will try to take care of the relatives of the sacrificed people and provide them with some help, but the mysterious people they will not. For example, the Crab and Gower families lost their homeowners and the most important in the previous battle. During the summer vacation, I heard Malfoy say that the two widows left by the two families had married two black wizards from Northern Europe under the assignment of the mysterious man, and their wealth had been almost completely divided before. It's just Hermione was shocked by the ugly side of the humanity revealed in this incident. Crab and Gaul are also historical families. Isn't there any objection among those pure blood? Every one of them is unwilling. But what can they do? The mysterious man has enough power to suppress them. Ryan pointed out the fact. Not to mention that the mysterious people now don't care about worldly wealth. For these Death Eaters, the death of their associates just happens to divide up their property. 
Maybe they can accept their wives. I always thought the Death Eaters were a combative group, but I didn't expect them to be like this inside, Hermione said. They are indeed very combative. The wizards from the Pureblood family have more knowledge and training than most wizards on our side, Ryan said. But they are not a group, just a group gathered under the mysterious man's group, to provide the mysterious man with all the servants he needs. Chapter 633, Remarks, Ryan. Hermione, will you sign up for this exam? Harry asked Ron at this time with Ron. I think if any of us in Gryffindor can pass this exam now, it should be only you two. We're definitely going to take this exam. The outside is now fighting. I think it is more meaningful for us to be involved in the war than to take classes in school. Lane replied. That's right, buddy. Ron leaned in and said in an envious tone. I think the level of knowledge you and Hermione currently have is a waste of time. I also want to graduate as quickly as you and go to the battlefield to teach the Death Eaters. Unfortunately. My current academic level can't pass the test. The battlefield is not a place for you to play, Hermione said in a serious tone. The battlefield is full of death, and no one will love it there. Of course I know this, Harry nodded. But I am also prepared to face everything. You know, Voldemort and I can only survive one last time, so I can't stay out of this war at all. Even so, I don't think you should take the initiative on the battlefield when you are not strong enough. Ryan looked at Harry and said, even if you are really destined to step on the battlefield, it is best to master as much as possible. Do this when you have more power, otherwise, you will make everyone's efforts useless. I know, Harry nodded, but I still hope to set foot on the battlefield one day earlier and contribute my strength. In this war, I can't hide behind others forever. So you still have to study hard for your dreams, which will help you have a greater chance of living on the battlefield, and only by living can you have a future. Lane patted Harry on the shoulder. Thank you. Ha nodded forcefully. I will keep up with your footsteps. After listening to this sentence, Ryan's footsteps went out suddenly. He had just wanted to imitate the big men in the movie to comfort Harry. Unexpectedly, he became a role model for Harry. But that's fine. Ryan at least felt that Harry could listen to what he said, which would reduce the probability that Harry would rush to the battlefield to give people a head. After leaving the common room, Ryan went straight to Professor McGonagall's office. After opening the door, Ryan discovered that although Professor McGonagall had just arrived in the office, he was already busy. On the table in front of Professor McGonagall, at least one foot thick of parchment papers were placed and Professor McGonagall looked at the document on the table with glasses, and from time to time, sketched something with a feather pen on it. Dot. It seems that when Professor Dumbledore is busy, all the handling of the school's daily affairs will be handed over to Professor McGonagall. For example, when Ryan walked to the front and back of the table, he saw Professor McGonagall correcting a food purchase list at Hogwarts School. Ryan, Hermione, you are here for the exam. Professor McGonagall looked up at them and said, Please sit here and wait for a while and wait for me to read this list before signing up for you. After waiting for more than a minute, Professor McGonagall signed his name at the bottom of the list, then placed the entire parchment on the left-hand parchment file, and then took off his glasses and said to, Lane, I have to thank you for your donation first, otherwise I doubt that the school's food will not even be eaten next month. Professor McGonagall said, Principal Dumbledore does have enough wealth, but these wealth are all based on various forms of magic props or books exist, and in the current situation, Potato bread cannot be exchanged, nor can meat and eggs be exchanged. I just did my duty as a school manager, Lane said humbly. I don't have enough interpersonal relationships or any help for the school like other school managers, so I can only use money to fulfill my responsibilities. Actually, the school now needs the most financial help, Professor McGonagall whispered, and then said to Ryan they, Okay, I will now register you with a list of S exams, said she pulled a list from the bottom drawer, and then ticked the names of both Ryan and Hermione. Oh, what do you plan to do after the exam? Professor McGonagall put away the list and asked, You know the situation now. Then I can't decide until the test results are available. Hermione said, Now I haven't even taken the test, what I say is invalid. Miss Granger, be more confident. Professor McGonagall looked at Hermione with a smile. I dare say that if this exam cannot even pass you, then no one else can pass this exam. Thank you for your compliment. Hermione's face flew into a red glow when she heard what Professor McGonagall said. If we really pass the exam this time, I think we will temporarily stay at Hogwarts Castle to make magic props in order to provide all the props needed in the war for everyone who is now resisting. At the same time, from a security perspective, the castle is the safest, but also convenient to communicate with everywhere. Only teachers and students are allowed in Hogwarts. Professor McGonagall said here and patted his forehead gently with his hand. These things have kept me busy lately. As a school manager, you also have the right to live in the school. It's just that the former school managers have their own manor and have house elf services, so they're generally not happy to live in Hogwarts Castle. Okay, I wish you all the best in this exam, and I hope Merlin will bless you. By the way, the exam is this weekend, so there is no need to give you a schedule. In the past few days, you can review it. Professor McGonagall. Finally, you can leave now. I still have a lot of things to deal with here. Goodbye.
Professor McGonagall, Ryan and Hermione bowed together and left Professor McGonagall's office www.mclenovel.com The rest of the week passed quickly, and Lane spent almost all the time used for preparation. The same is true of others, and many 7th grade students are hard at work in the library. Fortunately, Ryan borrowed his notes from Percy before preparing for the exam, and then used a memory transmission device to input all the contents of the notes into his brain. Naturally, Hermione enjoyed the same service. Aren't you saying that I did this as a fraud? Ryan quipped as he looked up from the memory instilling chamber around him. At the time I just didn't figure out something. Hermione jumped out of the memory infusion room with both hands and jumped out, then stood there and said, unlike ordinary learning, the core of magic learning is the operation of magic. So as long as you can successfully use magic, as for this method of memory installation, it is no different from the result of our own memory, as long as knowledge is mastered. Furthermore, not everyone can do so much memory at a time. I think how much knowledge can be infused is related to everyone's soul strength. Here, Hermione raised her chin slightly. This if more than a dozen notes are allowed for Harry, he can at most instill a book into his mind, and no matter how many, his brain will certainly not be able to support it. If Ron, I guess at most half of it. Okay, you are a genius. Ryan smiled, and in return a glance at Hermione. In addition to instilling memory, Ryan and Hermione spent their spare time practicing the spells and potions to be tested. Finally, it was Friday afternoon, and the next day was the time for the exam. Chapter 634, Examination. British summer is not very hot, but the temperature difference between day and night is very large. This is especially true in the Scottish plateau where Hogwarts is located. Even if there is a huge lake next to it, the temperature difference between day and night cannot be adjusted, but the humidity in the air becomes very large. At night, walking in the hallway of the castle feels wet and cold. Fortunately, the elves at home burned the fireplace early which made the temperature in the common room pleasant. Isn't it an exam tomorrow? I remember that the seventh graders of Gryffindor basically signed up. Why are everyone so noisy tonight? Hermione had planned to read the book again when she returned from the library, but unfortunately everyone around the noisy sound made her unable to see at all. Because most people just sign up to look at their level, they don't think they can pass the exam. Ryan shrugged and crossed Hermione's shoulder. He saw Harry playing Ron with look. This is the hemp the flying chest attached to Melon magazine. Not to pass, so why do they have to take the exam? Hermione somewhat didn't understand the mentality of those people. Shouldn't you go all out for the exam every time? That's just what you think about it, Hermione. Lane said a little helplessly, although Hermione changed a lot, but one thing did not change. That is more true on many issues. But Ryan felt that this was not a bad thing, at least in his eyes. If even this changed, then Hermione would not be her. At least students can pass this exam to get a general idea of their level. Ryan said, I think that at this point, Hogwarts is not as good as those mull schools. There are various quizzes in mull schools. The mock exams let students know what their current level is, but there is no such thing in the wizarding world. That is to say, all the students are basically going to take the exam after the review. And this exam is actually an opportunity for everyone to detect where their problems are in order to get a good result in the next exam. This is why so many people know that they cannot pass the exam and still take the exam. At this point, Ryan spread his hands. Furthermore, don't need money anyway. Isn't it a good idea to accumulate some experience in one more exam? Well, you can always come up with reasons. And I think you are right. Hogwarts is indeed behind in the way of learning. Hermione closed the book and actually passed these days. She has already made all preparations for the exam, only because of a certain habit she still hopes to review to the last moment. After chatting, the two went back to their dorms to sleep. After eating breakfast early the next morning, Ryan was waiting in the hall with a large group of Gryffindors. Soon they saw the old witch Professor Marchpan and Dumbledore walking into the castle side by side. Albus, you look older too. I still remember the way you were so energetic when you were young, and the kind of amazing when you took the morphing and magic spells practical test when you took the S exam performance. It is indeed a nostalgic youth. Please go here Professor Markaban. Dumbledore extended a hand to guide the witch in front of him. We can go to the teacher's lounge for a cup of tea first. The students have just finished breakfast and it will take a little time to organize the auditorium. Watching the two old men leave, many people seemed slightly nervous. However, because most people did not plan to pass this exam directly, the overall atmosphere is much more relaxed than the OWL's exam more than a year ago. After scanning the entrance hall, Lane found that almost all 7th graders came to take the exam this time. Of course, this is also expected. After all, when Voldemort announced the establishment of another Hogwarts school, the students who chose to stay here were actually equivalent to choosing a camp. For example, Malfoy is now standing in the hall to prepare for the exam. For the Malfoy family, now they want Voldemort's failure more than anyone else. Because if Voldemort did not fail, then as Voldemort's traitor they were absolutely dead. Pansy Parkinson, who often used to go around Voldemort before, did not stand by him. The Parkinson family is now Voldemort's core supporter, 
So Pansy took the Hogwarts Express when he last chose return to London, for the same reason, the usual slither and students such as Crabbe, Gower, and Zabini did not appear in the hall. To be precise, only the Slytherin student who came to take the exam today was Malfoy alone. It was unexpected. Hermione whispered, I always thought that Malfoy would not come to school this year. I didn't expect him to be the only 7th grade student Slytherin stays at Hogwarts. What's so unexpected about this? Ryan glanced at Malfoy, whose face was still pale, but a lot more energetic than last year. I don't think there is any place in the UK that is safer than Hogwarts Castle where President Dumbledore is sitting. Besides, as a family that puts the family first, in order to ensure the safety of the family's inheritance. They will not let the current owner and the future owner stay together. It's the same reason why the US President and Vice President are not allowed to appear on the same occasion, right? Hermione asked. That's why, Ryan said. Of course, because of this, I can believe that the Malfoy family is now on the side of the mysterious resistance. This is not because their hearts are bright or willing to fight for justice but because it is calculated from the perspective of pure interests. In the last time, in order to ensure the family's inheritance after our actions, the Malfoy family has no other choice. We should thank the mysterious man as a lunatic, or that he became a lunatic after slicing his soul. Let us now distinguish between the enemy and the friend is much simpler than what was recorded in the previous war. Hermione raised her lips. A smile squeezed out. Okay, time is up. I think we should enter the exam now. Lean turned his head and looked at the gate of the hall www.mtlnovel.com The gate slowly opened inwards. As in the last exam, the auditorium was filled with small single tables. However, unlike the OWL's exam more than a year ago, this time because it is a special exam in an emergency, there are far fewer people taking the OWL's exam. So the exam which was originally a week was compressed into three days this time. Therefore, at 8 o'clock in the morning, the first written exam for the first spell course is taken. After the exam, take a 15-minute break and then take the written exam for the second deformed course. This kind of test arrangement gives Ryan a subtle sense of familiarity. In the last three years of senior high school mock exams, the exams were basically arranged so intensively. After opening the test paper, Ryan discovered that the first question was to answer the spell that summoned the water, and briefly explain the principle of the spell. This is not difficult, especially when Flitwick taught Shemizu Yukon that lesson to write down the sentence I am a wizard, not a baboon swinging his stick. This incident made Lane remember fresh. Thinking of this, he smiled slightly and leaned over to write on the test paper. At this time, Hermione had already written on her own paper. But not everyone answers questions as smoothly as they do. It can even be said that there are only a few people who answer questions as smoothly as they do. Most people in the exam room have been scratching their ears or scratching their heads or turning the paper around, making a clattering sound. But generally speaking, Slytherin and Ravenclaw students are better, and some Hufflepuff students can answer the questions seriously. It was mainly Gryffindor students and Hufflepuff students who turned the paper over and over for half a day. Finally, after more than four hours, this morning's exam finally ended. Chapter 635, Cook. This exam is too fast, at least in terms of the quality of the questions is not as exciting as the exam questions of previous years. At lunch, Hermione began to express his views on the exam. For example, some points are repeatedly mentioned in the coverage of knowledge points, and some points are basically not touched. Even I found that the exam questions in the first year were exactly the same. In short, Hermione concluded after listing all the things found in the exam. At least in terms of the written test, the difficulty of this test is indeed lower than that of the normal test, and in theory it is easier to pass the test. Do you mean this exam is simpler than the regular exam? Ron opened his mouth slightly and stared. I don't think so. I only finished more than half of the scroll when the test bell rang, and I didn't think my answers were correct. This test is simply too difficult. Unlearned knowledge. Harry nodded with palpitations. He spent an hour and a half writing all the questions he could answer. The remaining half an hour was completely dazed, because nearly half of the remaining questions he could not understand at all, or had no clue. Don't you study in advance? Hermione asked directly, and Harry and Ron looked at her somewhat blankly. That means you haven't read the seventh grade textbook at all. Isn't this the seventh grade just starting school? Ron argued. I just didn't expect so much content in the seventh grade in this exam. So I didn't have so many questions to make. After hearing Ron's answer, Hermione had nothing to say, so she shrugged her shoulders and continued to eat her vegetable salad. After a short break from eating, the practice test begins. Because there are not many students and professors taking the exam this time, the auditorium is simply divided into several parts by a wooden wall that has been transformed into a block. Ryan felt that he was quite smooth, and he perfectly completed all the magic required by the proctor. But others were not so smooth. The poorly prepared students made a lot of strange colored smoke, unpleasant smell, and even several crows. The worst thing is Simo who directly used the target mouse when using the disappearance spell. The tables are full of fright. I think I must be dead for this exam, 
maybe even for the next exam. You don't see the mouse tail blown into the professor's hair. After returning to the common room after the exam, Simone have been chattering there. The next proctor will not necessarily be this professor. Dean Thomas comforted him while patting Simo's back. And each of these professors is over 90 years old. I don't think they can remember your face by the end of this semester. Harry and Ron were sitting at the edge of the fireplace, staring at the flames beating in the fireplace. They could confirm that the exam was completely smashed today. Do you think I can get 50 points for this defamation test? Ron asked the charcoal inside the fireplace with tongs and turned his head. I think I have done a good job in practice. I changed the problem that the glasses case that the professor arranged during the exam changed from gecko. Yeah. It's just that you need to convince the professor that the thing with at least your legs is a gecko. Harry raised his eyebrows, but he was relieved to see Ron's crying soon. But at least it's better than me. My gecko lacks four legs. When many people are unlucky, they find that everyone is as bad as they are, and they feel that they are not so uncomfortable. The same is true for Ron. After hearing Harry's own example, he seemed a lot more energetic. At this time, the exam is still too reluctant. I think I really need to study for another year before I can face such an exam. I haven't learned a lot of knowledge yet. Let me say. This time, it is estimated that only two of Ryan and Hermione can pass the Gryffindor students. Harry looked at a few students who stood up and were ready to take the astronomy test, too. But this time it's a good thing to fail the exam, at least let us know what level is required to pass the exam. Now try to prepare for the exam at the end of the period. At least the exam at the end of the period can't be tested again, Ron said as he took out a textbook from the school bag for review. Right, Harry, do you know where they went? Ryan, I don't know. Harry shook his head too. I didn't see the two of them after dinner. It seems to say that I went to the alchemy laboratory to do something. The two of them are much more busy than all the students here, besides their studies. They have a lot of things to do do it. It is estimated that they are now doing what the Order of the Phoenix or the Ministry of Magic will use. When can we do something like them? Ron sighed and opened the textbook. But let's take a look at the textbooks now, and do what we should do first. Just as Harry and Ron began to work hard. Lane was making a vital potion in the alchemy laboratory. As his gestures changed, a glazed pink flame was burning in the midair of the laboratory. Above the flame, a bronze helmet floated upward with its mouth floating continuously, surrounded by a large pile of various color mysterious symbols. Inside the helmet is a helmet full of golden liquid, which is now tumbling like melting gold. At the same time, a ray of golden steam slowly rose from the surface of the liquid, and then slowly drifted out of the mouth of the helmet and filled the whole laboratory. Why are you using a helmet to boil medicine? Hermione, looking at the helmet that was constantly spraying golden mist out, felt a little incomprehensible. They have many crucibles, from tin to gold. There is even a complete set of traditional ceramic crucibles in the Tan Dynasty. It is definitely not a crucible that can be used. I don't want to. Ryan's mouth twitched. But this spell requires that the container of the pharmaceutical agent should be as long as possible. www.mtlnovel.com The longer the history the better the effect of the medicine. I think I got this double tree from King Thrandall. The helmet left by the elves should be the oldest container that can be found. You want a container, but it's a helmet. Hermione pointed out a problem. Yes, but in the past, military helmets were also used as containers for cooking, drinking, and even washing clothes. So this helmet can be regarded as a container. Anyway, when I cast magic, I can feel that this is one something that meets the requirements. Speaking of which, the golden liquid in the helmet suddenly sprayed like a fountain more than half a meter high and then fell back to the helmet. Ryan immediately stopped talking and picked up a bottle of black liquid from the table and walked towards the helmet. This bottle of black liquid is just like a live, and it keeps coming out of the liquid surface and tapping the wall of the bottle. But every time the black liquid tentacles touched the bottle, a dozen golden runes appeared on the bottle blocking the front. The cycle of life and death. There is more than one cycle. Lane chanted the spell and poured the bottle of the potion made from the black water in the mummy and the undead in the Lord of the Rings into his helmet. Instantly the liquid in the helmet calmed down. In Ryan's eyes, the color of the liquid in the helmet quickly faded into a whitish silver, and a perfect mirror appeared in front of the two people. After waiting for a while, the liquid in the helmet changed again. They began to rotate in the helmet to form a small vortex. Ha, you're done, Ryan said, gesturing at the glazed flame under the helmet and the flame immediately turned into the original form of Our Lady Rose and flew into Ryan's hand. Next, just leave it for a whole day. We can come back to complete the last step after finishing the test tomorrow. Chapter 636, Yarrow. The content of the second day of the exam was black magic defense, herbal medicine class, and arithmetic divination. Ryan also successfully completed the exam in these three subjects. The divination is quite special, because the written test and actual operation of this subject are actually an exam. In addition, there are very few people electing this course, so this exam is placed in the afternoon black magic defense and herbal medicine practice exam after the end of the exam. So it was very late after completing the full day exam. Fortunately, the school knew this. So in the auditorium, a simple dinner was prepared for those students who didn't have time to take dinner for the exam. 
But Ryan didn't have much energy to taste the food at this time. After hurriedly eating a beef burger and drinking a glass of milk, he immediately carried his school bag and ran upstairs. Upon seeing this, Hermione also followed the last bite of salad in the salad bowl. You can eat slowly, there is no need to accompany me now. Today I can handle this by myself, and I don't need any help from others. Ryan saw Hermione trotting and turned and said to her, You can do your own business. You are brewing a very important potion related to death. How can I not look at it at this time? Today, my own affairs are not as important. Hermione reached out and ran herself to the hair in front squeezed behind the ear, and then looked at Ryan seriously. This is seriousness and curiosity lay inside in the bottom of his heart. After getting along for a long time, he found that Hermione was clever, but not too exaggerated. The reason why she can achieve today's achievements is to keep an attitude of knowledge seeking all the time, and the perseverance of working hard for something. After coming to the laboratory, the helmet with the medicament still floating in midair, and the runes around the size of soybean grains were shining and blinking like stars in the night sky. After walking into the helmet, the liquid inside was still spinning as they saw when they left. But unlike yesterday, Today's liquid has a gleaming silver light, like crystal mud. Now is the last step, Ryan said as he took out a small glass bottle from his arms, which contained only black liquid that only covered the bottom of the bottle. These liquids are Voldemort's blood, and Ryan collected these precious liquids from the blade after fighting with Voldemort's sword last time. They are the most critical material for this potion. After Voldemort's blood fell into the pot, the liquid in the pot rolled again. However, after only a few seconds, the fluid returned to calm. But the potion looks completely different from the previous one. It looks like a pot of black asphalt, but the texture is more silky than asphalt. After a few gestures, all the runes disappeared, and the helmet slowly fell to the ground. Ryan took out a turquoise jade and inserted it into the liquid. Instantly black spread on Yugui, and finally turned this green-green jade like a piece of coal. Ah, it succeeded. Ryan's face smiled, and then he took seven, 79 brown grains of gully brown rice from the space bag and threw it into the potion in the helmet. After the seeds fall into the potion, they are not melted by the black liquid in the helmet as normal story development, but a series of magical changes with the potion. In Hermione's unbelievable gaze, a cluster of plants carved like black jade emerged quickly from the helmet. This tuft of grass looks very personal, a little bit like mugwort, with a zigzag leaf, like a feather cluster of birds, or some kind of polypid bug. What's this? Hermione looked at everything in disbelief. You should tell me what you are doing in the past two days, before I only felt that you are making a very important job. A potion that contains the power of life and death. But now it seems that you have other ways to do this potion, not for whom to drink. You guessed it, Ryan said, summoning the virgin rose to make a virtual spot on the cluster of plants on the helmet, and a pink light was released from the virgin rose to cover the plants. In the pink light, the plants that had consumed the medicine in the helmet floated from the helmet and then slowly began to weave into something. This is the yarrow seed that was brought from behind the tomb of Fuxi in the Celestial Dynasty. Looking at a grass man gradually forming, Ryan turned his head to explain to Hermione, after getting the blood of the mysterious man before, I finally cast all the elements are all ready. And this method is a kind of Moshan secret that I got from the Master Jashu. One kind can guarantee that the soul of the mysterious man on him can be taken out without hurting Harry. Approach. Really? This is simply great. After hearing Ryan's words, Hermione waved her hand firmly against her chest, because she knew that Voldemort's final guard was his Horcrux, as long as the Horcrux was there, will be born again and again, and the Horcrux produced by Harry Voldemort's accident is the most difficult one among his many Horcruxes, so now this news is definitely good news. Of course it is true, the arrow floating in the air was woven into a black grass man as big as a man under the effect of magic. At the moment the grass man took shape, Ryan made a gesture to put away Our Lady of Roses. Let's go to Principal Dumbledore now. After speaking, he made a few gestures to the Kerman again. The Kerman quickly shrank, and finally shrank to the size of the palm and landed on the ground. Lion stepped up and picked up the grass man. I haven't figured out something. Hermione asked on the way to the principal's office. The feeling you gave me from the end of last semester is completely different from what you used to say. How do you say? It feels a lot more public than before. Do you think this is terrible? Ryan asked in front of him. No. It's not www.mtlnovel.com I certainly don't think it's bad. Actually, from my personal point of view, I like it a little bit more like you are now. In the past, when you tried to hide yourself, I felt a little bit too restrictive. Hermione replied immediately. I just think your character has changed a lot during this time, it's a little abnormal. As long as you don't hate this change. Ryan shrugged. As for why there is a change, it is because I finally have the power to let us stand in the magic world. By the way, you made Our Lady of Roses at that time. Hermione understood what Ryan said at once, but were the previous efforts really worth it? Stay alert and hide yourself for several years. Dot I think it must be very hard. It's hard work, but it's necessary. Hermione. Lane stopped and turned to look at Hermione. Our origin allows us to have no family in the magic world as a backing. At the same time, 
we are not a beloved student of a powerful wizard, and there is no strong bloodline that can bless us so everything can only rely on ourselves. Lucky yes, we have mastered the way to make ourselves more powerful, and now we finally have the strength to make our own voice. That means that our second grade ideas can really be put into action. Hermione said, although we have waited for several years, we have more things to do. But I am very happy that our original dream can now be implemented. Yes. The dream of being a child was a very worthy celebration anyway. Ryan also began to recall that he and Hermione were with Castro Brasso in Brazil when they were exchange students, with her the girl set in the temporary dormitory formed by Hogwarts Express. It is indeed our luck to do this. Chapter 637, Taoism Soon Ryan and the two of them came out of the memory and smiled at each other, and then came to the door of the principal's office. The two monsters in front of the principal's office already knew them at this time, and it was probably because Professor Dumbledore had advised him. So after seeing them, the stone monster on the left opened his mouth and said, Ah, it's you. Principal Dumbledore is not in the office now. Not in the office, where is he now? We have an important thing to find him now. Hermione said to the stone monster. The two stone monsters shook their heads at the same time after hearing Hermione's question, and then the left mouth said, We really don't know, because we are just stone monsters. Mr. Principal will not tell us these things. Okay, let's go somewhere else. Ryan shrugged somewhat helplessly to leave and turned his head just to see Dumbledore walking up the stairs. Lane, Hermione, it's almost a curfew now, you shouldn't be here. And you still have exams tomorrow, Dumbledore said after seeing them. Mr. Principal, we came this time because we have something very important to come to you. It's about Harry at this point, Ryan pointed his forehead and signaled that Principal Dumbledore came to find him this time. The part of Voldemort in the body is related. Oh, then come with me. I think we need to discuss this issue well. Dumbledore immediately understood Ryan what they were looking for, so he opened the door of the principal's office and brought Ryan they walked into the principal's office. After entering the principal's office, Dumbledore pulled out his old wand and pointed at several statues in the office. Ryan could feel a special layer of magic protection covering the whole office in an instant. He could understand this approach of Dumbledore, because what is being discussed is a very important thing, which must not be known by Voldemort. Okay, please sit down. After sitting on the high back chair behind the desk, Dumbledore turned out two chairs in front of him with his wand to let them sit down. Now you can elaborate on what you are going to tell me today. Principal Dumbledore, Hermione said after taking a deep breath to calm down. We have now found a way to separate the mysterious soul in Harry's body without harming the host. Really? Dumbledore, who had always been very steady in his impression, sat up straight, and then asked, How did you do it? Speaking of which, Dumbledore also felt a little sick, so he leaned back and said, I asked this question not because I did not trust you, but since I knew that there was a piece of Voldemort in Harry, I have traveled all over the Mediterranean and asked countless wizards in recent years. The Coptic wizards of soul-like spells are still Greek wizards with ancient heritage, but they have no other way to solve this problem than a very dangerous one. Is that the Horcrux main body who killed the Horcrux carrier by hand? Ryan asked. If there is no special magic, this is the only way I can think of. Yes. This is the way. Dumbledore nodded. Of course, I also know that this method requires countless coincidences to achieve it. But at least it is better than waiting for death without doing anything. I can understand. Ryan nodded. But now, I don't think we need such a risky approach. Because I found a special magic from heaven, which can separate that soul while ensuring Harry's safety. After he finished, he took out the slap-sized black grass figure and put it on the ground. After touching the floor, the grass figure grew quickly and quickly grew back to its original size. Is that the magic? Dumbledore stood up and walked around the desk to look at the cursive man. I seem to have heard of this kind of ancient magic in Tankel, but I have never seen it before. By the way, when can this magic begin? Actually, it's fine now. I think this magic needs your office because I don't know where else is safer than here. It's just that the ground may be destroyed when you cast a spell Ryan said, scratching his head here. It seems a little embarrassed. Nothing is more important than saving an innocent life, Dumbledore said waving his wand to make all the carpets on the floor disappear. What can I do for you next? It's only now that the mysterious person's birth date is ready. Ryan finished and took out the yellow paper, and cinnabar and brush were placed on the desk in the principal's room. You need to tell me the birth time of the mysterious person. You are asking the right person, and there are not many people who still remember Voldemort's birthday. After that, Dumbledore told Ryan Voldemort's exact date of birth. This was the news he had obtained while investigating Voldemort's life. Knowing the exact time of Voldemort's birth, Lane used a brush to dip the cinnabar ink and crafted the character of Voldemort's birth on yellow paper. But when writing his name, Ryan wrote Emil, because this magic is to communicate the name recognized by the soul, and Voldemort does not recognize the name his mother gave him with his mother's surname. After writing the name and birthday of Voldemort on the yellow paper, Ryan folded the yellow paper into the desired shape according to the magic instrument. Afterwards, the folded yellow paper was inserted into the location of the heart of the grass man's chest. After everything was ready, Ryan sent a pattern to Hermione through the Phoenix brand, and later said, 
Take this grass man as the center and etch this pattern on the floor with the power of death. Understood. Hermione immediately stepped forward to draw mysterious runes in the air with her wand. As her wand waved, a large amount of red and black smoke poured from the top of the wand and covered the entire ground. You reading www.uukanzu.com made the ground look like hell. This kind of power is a little dangerous, Dumbledore said, holding his glasses. In case of loss of control, you can rest assured. Professor Dumbledore, Hermione said. The power that I possess comes from the last time it fell behind the Ministry of Magic behind the Gate of Death, not the wrong power that some people have pursued. That's good. Dumbledore was suddenly allergic after seeing the power of death, after calmly discovering that Hermione's power of death was not as aggressive as the power Lord Voldemort had. He stopped asking this question. Two, five minutes later, with the recitation of Hermione's mantra, the red and black mist gradually faded and disappeared into the air in the principal's room leaving only a magic circle centered on the black grassman and flashing red light from time to time on the floor. Seeing that everything was ready, Ryan pulled out two lights from the space bag, one suspended on the head of the grassman and the other placed at the foot of the grassman. Afterwards, he started to fight, and at the same time mobilized the power of the Virgin of the Roses to draw one sign after another around the grassman. As the mantra was recited, more and more pink symbols were printed in the principal's room. Even Dumbledore and Hermione had to step back a few steps in order not to touch these signs. When the last incantation was pronounced, these signs all flew into the black grass man in the center of the office like moths. In an instant, all the visions in the room disappeared, leaving only a black grass man standing there, a light on each head and foot silently lit. Is this over? Hermione asked after looking at the curator. What I have to do is over. The next thing is what Harry has to do. Ryan finished looking at Dumbledore. The rest of this magical ritual will trouble him. Chapter 638, Transformation. You don't have to worry about this, as long as it can deal with Voldemort, Harry will definitely devote himself to doing it. When Ryan told Dumbledore that Harry needed to be involved in his next work, Dumbledore touched it. Speaking of his beard. So you don't have to worry about him not cooperating with you on this matter. I believe he will finish the next work smoothly. After talking, he gently clapped his hands, and an old-looking elf appeared in the principal's office with a snap, wearing a pillowcase embroidered with the Hogwarts school badge on his body, looking very capable. When he came to the office, he asked Dumbledore after bowing directly. The great principal Dumbledore, Bubu is honored to serve you. Do you have any instructions? That's it. Dumbledore lowered his head and looked at the house self named Bubu kindly. I need you to go to Gryffindor's common room or the boys' dormitory there, and then invite Harry Potter over. You tell him I have something to do with him. No problem, Mr. Principal. The house self disappeared from the principal's office with a flick of his finger. After a few minutes, the whistle of the staircase at the door of the office twirled. Harry Potter was taken into the principal's office by a house elf. Okay, things are over. You can leave. Dumbledore said to Bubu. Bubu bowed deeply and then snapped his fingers away from the office. Principal Dumbledore, do you have anything to do with me at this late hour? Harry was wearing a pajamas at this time, but he was wearing a robe outside the pajamas. It seems that he was dragged directly from the bed by Boo Boo. That's it. Dumbledore pointed to Ryan and Hermione standing on the side. Ryan they learned a magical magic from the sky and the side. This kind of magic can be used when the last time Ryan battled Voldemort. The blood obtained hurts him. But to ensure the success rate of this magic, the next part of the ritual must be completed by a person who has a mysterious connection with Voldemort, because Harry and Voldemort's soul have some communication, so in order to avoid Voldemort's awareness of this matter in advance, Dumbledore did not tell Harry all the truth. In fact, Voldemort's normal curse after reshaping his body with black magic did not have any effect on him. With his arrogance, Ryan did not worry about what Voldemort did to stop them after learning that Ryan used his blood to cast spells. Really? Can this magic really hurt Voldemort? Harry stared at everyone in the office with wide eyes and when he saw that the remaining three nodded to indicate that this was true, he exerted force. Nodded. Of course I am willing to complete the next steps of this magic. Please tell me how to do it. I now have some eagerness to complete this magic. After being confirmed by Headmaster Dumbledore, Harry said urgently, Dot. It's like this under the direction of President Dumbledore, Ryan stepped forward and explained, From tomorrow morning, you will be between 6 and 8 o'clock every morning, and between 12 and 2 o'clock noon. Between 6 and 8 in the evening. Time must be taken to the principal's office to perform magic rituals in accordance with the method I taught you. You must continue for 21 days for such behavior. After he finished speaking, Ryan personally demonstrated how Harry should worship the grassman next. Fortunately, the entire ritual combined with the next process did not require the use of curses, so just a few not difficult bowing movements Harry learned quickly. Right, Ryan continued to tell after seeing Harry learn those specified actions. After doing those actions every day, you need to drip your own blood into the two lamps. Of course. Only one drop is needed for each light show, but a little more will not affect anything. You only it should be noted that every time you must take blood in a non-magical way. Understood. Harry nodded seriously, seeing that everything was ready, Dumbledore said to them. Okay, 
It's not too early. You hurry back to the dormitory and rest. You will have another exam tomorrow. On the second day of the exam, Ryan finished the exam as smoothly as the previous two days. In the following week, he and Hermione developed several magic props to cope with the current situation. So on Saturday, Ryan and Hermione went to the Weasley joke shop in Hogsmeade after receiving an application from Professor Dumbledore. This kind of spider mine is very good, especially when it is used to catch the soldiers when it is chased. Fred said with a baseball-sized silver ball. In the last storm of the Ministry of Magic, the Weasley joke shop in Diagonally was naturally destroyed by the Death Eaters in the first round. Fortunately, only the shop was destroyed with the pre-plan. In itself, not much loss of goods. However, after the war was completely publicized, the Weasley joke shop, which moved to Hogsmeade, switched to a wartime production system in accordance with the results of their consultation. In addition to the inventory, 90% of the original joke products were discontinued, and the extra capacity was shifted to the production of various magic props for self-defense. Naturally, given the relationship between the shareholders of the joke shop and now Hogsmeade's Ministry of Magic and Dumbledore's principal, they naturally also received a lot of orders from the Ministry of Magic and the Order of the Phoenix. Seriously, your talent in joke products is far less than ours. But in this professional magic defense prop, we must admit that it is not as good as you're thinking. George took the silver white throne by Fred the ball was twisted, and four legs were immediately stretched out of the half of the ball, while the thin steel shell on the other half of the ball was unscrewed, revealing the appearance of the steel ball. For example, these steel balls, mixed with 130 magically processed steel and steel quenched with potions, will not add much cost but it will force those who are attacked to release defensive spells. Because no one dares to gamble the flying steel ball is not the 130 that can cause serious damage to the wizard after the magic treatment. Damn, this thing is not for you to play like this. Ryan immediately grabbed the silver ball in George's hand, and then buckled the hemispherical metal shield back. And the moment the steel shield was buckled back, four of the mechanical feet were also retracted. The whole thing was restored to a smooth sphere again. I'll say it again. Don't mess with this kind of spider mine that has been taken out of insurance. In case it really blows up in your hand, it will be troublesome. Got it. Fred and George said in unison, and we didn't enter the magic last time just now. You should believe in the double insurance you designed yourself. But that's not the reason you can die at will. Ryan put the silver ball back in the original box and asked afterwards. How have we sold these things recently? Very good, because more than 70% of the Ministry of Magic members on our side are recruited temporarily. Even one third of the professions that face the murderous Death Eaters are pure newcomers. If we don't provide each of it is a kind of defensive item, it is estimated that the casualty rate will not be so low now. www.mtlnovel.com What about her? Hermione asked. Heras have ordered our products. Yes, now the Ara leader on our side is Kingsley, and he ordered a large number of high-end goods from us. Fred replied, because now Miss Burns survived, so Kingsley did not like the original text, it can command the rest of the Ministry of Magic. However, he didn't buy it as a set from the commander's headquarters, but purchased a batch of high-end goods for the Aras to dry. Ryan nodded to understand that Aras is not the same as an elite and that kind of batch training striker. Therefore, when they choose magic props, they are more individualistic, just like some elite special forces will use personal customized weapons. By the way, did you just talk about the casualty rate? Hermione asked at this time a word that the Weasley twins had just said. The Ministry of Magic in London passed a survey of the bloodlines of non-pure blood wizards under the control of the mysterious man, which allowed many non-pure blood wizards to escape to our side to take refuge, but not every wizard can master the phantom it is more difficult to make the door key than the phantom shape shift. The control of the flyway network is controlled by the Ministry of Magic in London. In this case, they can only come to us through a broom or some mull way. Run away, Fred said. So our strikers and members of the Order of the Phoenix have escaped to cover those innocent people, and have fought many small-scale battles with the strikers in the south and even they hired black wizards. Not very dominant. During this time, three people have sacrificed. George sighed and shook his head. The conversation also lowered the atmosphere in the room, and everyone silently lowered their heads. Chapter 639, Achievement. After a moment of silence in silence for the heroic sacrifices, Fred raised his head. Hey, friends, this is the meaning of our work. The props we made can help more soldiers return home safely. Yes, you're right, Ryan nodded, and the other people in the room also got rid of the suppressed emotions just now. We need to make more props to make up for the gap between us and the group of black wizards. Well, Let's take a look at what we made this week. In the next time, Ryan showed some research results this week. Since they came back from Fair Run World last time, they had a new understanding of the magic props production, and also produced a lot of magic props that merged the two worlds. For example, in the new props displayed this time, a metal short stick that can release five greasy techniques is included in the next batch of new products. Sometimes we need to make a trade-off between effectiveness and cost. Ryan told Hermione on the way back to Hogwarts Castle. Like that spider mine can sell one gallon and two sight purely because only the elite will use these things. So as long as the things are good, 
those users will not mind the price. But most products are not like that. We first have to considering the penetration rate. The next step is to consider the quality of things. Just like the jokes I watched online on the Karen family. Hermione said, the quality of the distribution products selected by the US military bid is generally not the best, but it must be the most in the batch. Cheap. Our Ministry of Magic and Dumbledore are not as virtuous as the old Defense Department, Lane said with a smile. It's just that the price of magic props is closely related to the cherishment of its raw materials and the complexity of its production. Sometimes in order to arm more people as soon as possible, it has to compromise with reality to adopt some inferior quality props. But this is better than no props available. After discussing all the news about the current situation, Lane returned to Hogwarts Castle. But when I came to the corridor in front of the Gryffindor common room, I saw many 7th graders walking around nervously. Oh, I almost forgot about this while busy. Hermione reacted after seeing the people. Today is the day when our net test results came out last week. We should just watch the completed results before going to Hogsmeade. How did the results come out so fast? Ryan was puzzled, so he asked when the common room door was opened. Don't it take us a month to get the all score last time? How come this exam is only finished in a week? I don't know very well. Would it be the group of professors responsible for rewriting the papers in this case is much more efficient than before? Hermione said with some uncertainty. No, that group of people is not so hard working. This time it is purely because there is only the net test, and the number of people taking the test is still less than before. Ginny's voice came from the side. She just heard Ryan talk to them, so she answered Ryan's question just now. In addition to the fact that most of the people who took this exam were bad, a lot of papers that seemed to have a grade of D or T also changed quickly. A lot of people got a grade of D or T Hermione asked in surprise, everyone should not be so bad. You should be different from what I know. Ginny shook her head. Harry got D in two courses, but his black magic defense technique passed Oh, My brother was far away, and actually got to T in the transformation class. That's not my fault. Ron heard the words and came over. I just heard someone say that this time I changed the papers and there were our professors. So this time they changed more strictly than before. Sophia strict. Ryan froze for a moment before reacting. This test is completely different from before. At this time, most people who choose to take the exam will step onto the battlefield after graduation. Therefore, professors will naturally revise the exam in the strictest manner to ensure that everyone has enough ability to deal with various dangerous situations. Yeah, look at how much you can take. Harry also walked over at this time and handed the letter. Your letter was sent with ours. I think the owls are exhausted. Look, Ryan took the letter and opened it. Envelope. The transcript is a small piece of parchment folded into a square. After unfolding the paper, Ryan found that his results were all as expected. Ryan, what is your grade? Hermione asked after reading his transcript. All my results are O. Ryan waved her transcript to Hermione. How about you? Like you. Hermione also waved her transcript in the same way. All my grades are also O. Oh, this is just. Harry looked depressed on the side. If I can take the test as well as you do this time, I don't have to stay at Hogwarts and watch others fight. Don't talk silly, Harry. Ginny said next to him at this time. You have to be qualified to participate in the battle. People who are not good enough can not only help you, but even become a drag on you. Well. What you said makes sense. Harry looked at Ginny and smiled. And to participate in this war does not require everyone to go to the front to face Death Eaters or even mysterious people. Lion Anne arrived. In this war, we need everyone to make their own contributions in their respective positions. Dot whether in the rear or the front. For example, www.mtlnovel.com Harry. I can only say that what you are doing now contributes no less to the war than the warriors who are facing the mysterious people and the Death Eaters. Dot. I oh, right. Harry reacted at once. But is that thing really that important? Of course, that magic is of course very important. Lay nodded. Even if you don't believe me, you should believe President Dumbledore. Harry nodded what he was about to say, and Colin Crivy suddenly walked in from outside the common room door and nailed a piece of parchment to the bulletin board. Tomorrow morning from 8 to 12 o'clock, all students who pass the net test in this exam need to go to the dean's office of their college to discuss issues such as graduation and departure, and where to go after leaving school. Don't miss the time. Liu O unread the contents of the notice. Then he turned his head and shouted, Oh, how many of us in Gryffind or passed the exam? In an instant, the atmosphere in the common room subsided. Several seventh graders glared at Ron. Well, I shouldn't have asked this at this time. Ron narrowed his neck and let out from the notice board then whispered to Harry and them. It seems that everyone did not do well this time. Until sleeping at night, Ryan didn't know that only Gryffindor and Hermione had passed the exam. As a result, the two of them should have plenty of time to talk with Professor McGonagall tomorrow morning. Chapter 640, Before Leaving Early the next morning, after eating breakfast early, Ryan and Hermione went straight to Professor McGonagall's office. The whole corridor is quiet at this time. Only Ryan kicked and stomped on the stone slabs. Always feel a little sad. Hermione suddenly stood there reached out her hand and touched the little monster stone carving on the handrail of the stairs. Six years, are we going to leave here now? No, 
We can live in the castle for a long time, Ryan said. Don't forget, I'm now the Hogwarts school manager and have the right to live in the castle. I have seen it before, and behind the piles of empty classrooms on the third floor is the accommodation for the school manager. That place is quite big, I believe it will be very comfortable to live in after the elf has cleaned up. Ah, I didn't mean that, forget, Hermione was just about to move forward, and Ryan suddenly pulled her, just just kidding you, I know what you mean, by the way, there is a gift here for you. Finally, Ryan took a small collection from the space bag and handed it to Hermione. Hermione took over the collection and flipped it over, and found that it was a few pieces of parchment with new and old at first glance, with gold-plated letters and numbers on it. This is the Hogwarts Express ticket. After a serious look, Hermione immediately recognized what was in the clip, all tickets from the first grade to this year. This gift is awesome, thank you. Hermione carefully put the clip in her hand. Thank you for helping me keep these beautiful memories. After this episode, the two knocked on the door and entered Professor McDonagall's office. Professor McDonagall handled the pile of documents as usual. After discovering that they came in, Professor McDonagall put down his work and raised his head. I am very glad to see my students. Fortunately, there are two of you. Otherwise, if one of you did not pass, I will be ashamed to raise my head when I talk about this issue with other professors. After praising Ryan and the two of them, the conversation got to the point. Professor McGonagall asked after clearing his throat slightly. Ryan, Hermione, could you tell me what I plan to do after getting the Newt exam certificate? We want to stay on Hogwarts temporarily to run our shop, because we found that the products produced by our shop a while ago played a big role in the battle against the Death Eaters. We think that if those if something is better, it may play a bigger role so that more people will survive the war. Oh, this is a very good direction of employment. Professor McDonagall nodded. But Professor Dumbledore asked me to tell you that he hopes you can temporarily work for the Ministry of Magic for a while. Speaking of which, the professor reached out to stop Hermione who was going to say something. Of course, I know it's a waste and a foolish thing for you two to go to the Ministry of Magic to do the copywriting work. But Professor Dumbledore is not looking for you. Professor McDonagall opened a piece of parchment with a blank appointment letter from the Ministry of Magic. The above content is to hire a person as a special staff member of the International Magic Corporation Department of the Ministry of Magic. This job has a very low subsidy, so you don't need to go to the Ministry of Magic to work every day, and naturally will not disturb your arrangements. Principal Dumbledore means that you will do certain things after you have this title. It's more convenient. Professor McGonagall explained. As for the specific situation, you can go to Hogsmeade's Ministry of Magic to ask and you will decide before asking. Okay, then let's go to the Ministry of Magic to ask in the afternoon. Ryan nodded and agreed. After listening to Professor McDonagall for a while, she began to retire after working experience. Because Professor McDonagall still has a lot of work to complete, Ryan and they are not suitable to delay too long here. Are you about to leave Hogwarts? At dinner, Ginny whispered to Hermione sitting opposite. Does this mean that I won't be able to see you for the rest of this semester? Of course not. Hermione explained. Just like your father is now a Hogwarts school director, Ryan is now who? The governor of Hogwarts. As a school manager, you have some special rights, such as having their own room in the school castle, and for example, being able to enjoy the house self-service like a professor. Is this true? Ron's eyes widened. Why did I never know this? My parents didn't tell me. That's because there is a restrictive clause, Ryan said to Ron. The clause stipulates that only the school manager and the person designated by the school manager can enjoy this series of benefits when they are not Hogwarts students. Dot. The man appointed by the school manager, what does this mean? Harry asked, also interested to join him. As an orphan, he actually regarded Hogwarts as his home, plus Draco Malfoy's high-spirited look when Malfoy's father was the school manager, so Harry confronted the school manager. The relevant news is naturally very interesting. Actually every Hogwarts school manager has two places including his own place to live in the castle, Ryan explained. In addition to the school manager himself, the school manager can also appoint his immediate family members to use these two places to enjoy the life of the school manager in the castle. However, in any case, the seat of a school manager can only be used by two people in the castle. Dot. It turned out to be this way. Harry, Ron and Ginny nodded suddenly. Then Ron said, so at least for the rest of this year, can we still see the two of you in the castle? Yes, Lay nodded. We will live on the third floor at the very end of the row of empty classrooms behind the Lockhart office on the third floor where there is a relief of a lion carved on the wall. Behind the relief is the house prepared for the school manager. If you're really looking for us, go directly there and tap the lion's left paw with your wand. If we read there, we'll L open the door for you. Can't you come to the common room in the future? Ron asked curiously. Yes. Hermione nodded www.mclenovel.com According to the notification we just got from Professor McGonagall, after obtaining the new test certificate this time, we are equivalent to graduate from Hogwarts. According to regulations, after graduation, we can't enter the public lounges of various colleges without the approval of the deans or principals of the colleges. This is due to security and a series of issues. Then I will find you when the time comes, 
you must not open the door, Ginny said to Hermione. Hermione nodded again and again that he would not forget this girlfriend even after graduation. As these two girls whispered on the side, Ryan asked Harry in a low voice, Harry, did the magic ritual performed in your principal's office these past few days go well? Very smooth, Harry replied quickly, then hesitantly said, there is a place where I don't know. Why do I feel that there is an unprecedented connection with the black grassman now? Is something wrong? That's it, then don't worry. Ryan reassured Harry by shaking his hand. This is part of magic and because of the special bond between you and that person, Principal Dumbledore and I chose you to complete the next magic step. In short, this connection is an indispensable part of magic. It's like this, then I know. Harry seemed to relax a lot, and it seemed that the magic that gave him the feeling of the other day did put a lot of pressure on him. After getting a positive answer from Ryan this time, I finally feel relieved. Chapter 641, Acquaintance Hogwarts Summer Sunshine is always so bright, even now Voldemort and the Ministry of Magic under his control are staring in the south. Ryan they still see a lot of students sitting or lying on the lawn in the sun. After checking the permission road in Ryan's hand, the patrol leader opens the iron gate of Hogwarts Castle. After nodding his thanks to the patrol leader who was a former member of the Percy squad, Lane and Hermione walk down the dirt road towards Hogsmeade Town. The town of Hogsmeade is much larger than before, and it is also a lot cleaner. The original scattered tents have disappeared. Several rows of row houses are now neatly arranged in the open space on the edge of the town and people can be seen entering and leaving the house from time to time. Good afternoon, Ryan. Ah, and Hermione, and good afternoon to you. Just as Ryan walked down the road toward the town center, a young woman with linen hair greeted them. They froze for a moment before they realized that the young woman sitting the basking in the sun was Nefedora Tunks, who should now be called Nefedora Lupin. Tunks is completely different from the previous handsome dress with bright hair and a leather coat. Now she is lying on a deck chair, wearing comfortable and loose cotton clothes and her face is more rounded than in the past. Hello, Mrs. Lupin. Lane and Hermione walked down the road together and chatted with Tunks sitting in front of the gate of a row house. By the way, didn't you and Lupin travel to Northern Europe? Why are you here now? We were traveling in Northern Europe. Tunks sat up and said, It's just that after the Hogwarts Express attack, the Ministry of Magic changed hands. We and Sirius both responded to the call of Principal Dumbledore and hurried back to England. But when we returned, the two of you were still as Coburn insisted and then went back to school to prepare for the exam. So you guys didn't know that it's normal for us to come back. Oh, we were really busy during this time, and we didn't even pay much attention to the situation outside. Hermione nodded. Where is Professor Lupin now? Why are you alone here now? Lupin is now mainly responsible for the connection between the production of various magic raw materials here and Northern Europe to ensure that these local magic props and potion producers can have enough raw materials. Tunks touched himself here. Belly, as for me, because I found out that I was pregnant after I came back. I live here with my parents for the time being. You're pregnant, this is amazing Hermione congratulated Tunks. Don't go out to work during this time. Although the situation is dangerous now, it will not be reduced to relying on pregnant women. Unlike ordinary people who are pregnant, sorcerers will try to minimize the use of potions or some magic after pregnancy, because these things may affect the development of the fetus. Coupled with the fact that a wizard's fertility rate is not very high, the newborn is more important. So traditionally wizards stop working once they become pregnant. This is why I am basking here, Tunks said with some helplessness. To tell me, I prefer to go to a headquarters now. Rather than staying here, I can't go anywhere. Speaking of this, Tunks looked at Ryan. I really want to thank you. If you helped solve his problems, even my parents would not accept a werewolf as their son-in-law. Nothing. This is what I should do. Ryan smiled. And they are now showing their value. If it weren't for the industrious werewolves, now we wouldn't have enough raw materials to make various potions and magic props. But anyway, I still want to thank you. After chatting for a while, a slightly older woman came out of the room. Her hair is soft and light brown, and her eyes are very large. Lean and Hermione touched the wand subconsciously at the same time. But the hand was just raised and lowered. The man in front of him looks more like Bellatrix, but looks much softer. You're Ryan and Hermione the older woman said, thank you very much for your help to Dora and Remus. I am Andromeda Tunks, Dora's mother. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Tunks. Lane and Hermione greeted at the same time, the older woman in front of her should be young. Serious cousin, Bellatrix says sister. No wonder she gave Ryan the same feeling as Bellatrix when she came out of the dark room. After a few words of greeting, Ryan and Hermione quickly quit. Tunks returned to the room with his mother and heard that she and her family were now at home helping the Ministry of Magic with a series of documents and accounts. Mrs. Tunks really scared me when I came out, Hermione said when walking on Hogsmeade Street. But if you look closely, there is a clear difference between their sisters. And Sirius also said that this cousin was the closest relative to him. Think about it, too. A member of the Black family chose to marry a wizard of Mull background. Indeed the same person as Sirius. Lane nodded to agree with Hermione's words. 
then looked at the situation on both sides of the street with great interest. By this time they had arrived on the main street of Hogsmeade. It is different from the coldness here a week ago, and now there are many wizards walking around the streets of Hogsmeade, which makes it very prosperous. After all, the situation has initially stabilized. Even though Voldemort in the south is still a huge threat, the lives of the wizards must continue. Coupled with the various circumstances a while ago, many wizards had to stay at home, so that the stock in their hands was consumed by seven or eight. So after the situation improved slightly, they would naturally come to Hogsmeade to purchase. This also created the prosperity here. After squeezing from a group of wizards from the countryside who were standing in front of the three brooms and going to have a drink, Lane went up to the screaming shack. Unlike the original dilapidated appearance, the Screaming Shack can be completely renewed www.mtlnovel.com All the boards that seal the entrance of the house have been removed and the damaged areas have been repaired. Even the exterior of the building was repainted once, making the entire house look as if it had just been built. From time to time, people hurried out of the house or out. Ryan, today is class time, what are you doing here? Suddenly a familiar voice rang from behind, Ryan turned his head and saw Sirius striding over. He had a neater uniform and his hair was neatly combed, and he looked radiant. Good afternoon. Sirius. Ryan greeted Sirius with a wave of his hand and then showed him the appointment letter with his name filled in. You know, Hermione and I have already obtained the required examination certificates. Principal Dumbledore suggested that we now work temporarily as a part-time special consultant in the Department of International Magic Corporation of the Ministry of Magic, so we came here today to ask about the specific situation. The International Department of Magical Corporation Sirius thoughtfully looked at this appointment letter. This department is indeed recruiting staff recently and even the visitors do not refuse, because their manpower gap is too large, and even to the point that they are basically unable to operate normally. After he finished, he looked up at them. I am back after I've finished my task. I'll just take you through. Thank you so much. We haven't been here before. We were just thinking about what to do if we couldn't find a place, Ryan said as he put away the letter of appointment and then followed Sirius with Hermione, screaming in the direction of the shack. Chapter 642 Hogsmeade Ministry of Magic. Take out your one's grip. After entering the yard of the screaming shack, Sirius said to Ryan they, then follow me straight forward. Ryan they pulled out their ones and put them on their chests like Sirius, and then walked straight up the steps. The brown gate on the step blocked the way of the three of them. But Sirius did not stop but walked straight through. Ryan and they walked in as if the gate were made of mist. This was repaired three days ago, because Miss Burns, the Minister of Magic, insisted that only after the wizards who had taken refuge in Hogsmeade lived in the house. The Ministry of Magic could move into the house. We went to repair those townhouses. It wasn't until the houses were repaired that everyone started repairing the Ministry of Magic, which is why the Ministry of Magic had just been repaired. Sirius explained. Our new minister is worthy of admiration. Lay nodded. This time they appeared in the White Hall. In the center of the hall is a large public sign. The magic applied on it allows a large number of text messages to be broadcast. Ryan stepped forward and found that these were all public information about certain official duties. In addition, the entire hall is almost without any decoration, and even makes people feel a bit shabby. Go here. Sirius took them to an elevator. Does it seem a little simple? Anyway, this is just a temporary place, so it can be used. Ding dong. A sound of prompt came from the elevator in front of him. Sirius stopped immediately and went to the elevator with Ryan. The elevator was full of people at this time. Follow up. Sirius urged. Because this place is built as a temporary place, the elevators are relatively tight. When each elevator arrives, there will always be a large group of people. Don't lose it. That, Sirius. Ryan asked curiously after squeezing the elevator from a large group of wizards. How do you know where we are going? That appointment letter only wrote the Department of International Magical Corporation. Of course I know. Sirius shrugged his shoulders. Because there is only one office for the Department of International Magical Corporation here. An office? Hermione couldn't believe it. Is there only one office for a large department? I remember that the International Department of Magical Corporation occupied a whole floor when I was in London. You also said that it was in London. Sirius spread his hands. Now there is no foreign wizards in the ministry of magic on our side publicly admitting it. Even in the magic congress of certain countries, we are a rebel organization. In this case, what do you think we want from the International Magic Corporation Department? Effect? Sounds terrible. Ryan raised an eyebrow. The US Magic Congress hoped to split and weaken the core of the European magic world, the British magic world, so it was normal for them to run to support London. The Europeans were afraid that Voldemort would bring war to their land, but considering that Dumbledore was still alive and leading the resistance movement, they chose to pretend not to see the changes of the British wizards. Since Ryan was thinking about these issues, Sirius stopped. Okay, here we are. Now in front of Ryan was a black painted wooden door, with a bronze medal hanging in the center of the wooden door, engraved with the words, International Magic Corporation Division and Sirius who went to the era command to say goodbye, Ryan gently knocked on the door, and when they found no response, they turned the door handle and stepped into the office.
The office is as simple as the corridor outside, with only a set of brown desks and chairs and a few chairs for guests. An old man with thin white hair was writing behind the desk. The old man seemed to be very old, and even Ryan didn't hear the sound of them coming in. Hello. After waiting for a while and discovering that there was no response, Ryan could only step forward and say. After hearing Ryan's words, the old man finally reacted and raised his head, then pulled out a monocle from his jacket pocket and put it on his left eye. Excuse me do you have anything? The old man asked after looking at Ryan. His voice was very sharp and his breath was breathless. That's it, sir. Ryan took out the appointment letter taught by Professor McGonagall. Yesterday we got such a thing from Professor McGonagall. She told us that Principal Dumbledore hopes we can come here to become a special staff member of the International Magic Corporation Division. So we want to ask what this is about. Oh, did Albus recommend you to come over? The old man took a careful look at the appointment letter of the two of them. Yes, this is what we sent. As for this special staff. Speaking of this, the old man raised his head. You know, in the past when the Ministry of Magic was in London, almost all of the International Magic Corporation divisions were pure blood wizards from various pure blood families. Because they will marry pure blood wizards from other countries, they have this relationship, will help to communicate with other countries. But since that person changed the Ministry of Magic, the entire Department of International Cooperation in Magic has almost stayed in London. I even need my 100-year-old to temporarily end my retirement to deal with these things. So I heard that Hogwarts recently after a group of newly graduated students, I made a request like Dumbledore, hoping he could recommend some people to come here. But considering the current situation, each department of the Ministry of Magic lacks sufficient manpower. So I hope to recruit some part-time personnel to run the entire department first, which is why you received this appointment letter by the way. Let me introduce myself. I am the director of the Department of International Magical Corporation who issued this letter of appointment, Ephia's door. We are very happy to receive this letter of appointment, and we are very willing to do something. According to what the two people had discussed before, Hermione told Dor. But we have a lot of other things to do now and can't stay in the department every day. www.mtlnovel.com Of course, I certainly know. As Dumbledore's first friend and a core member of the Order of the Phoenix, he certainly knows how important Ryan is for what everyone is doing now. You really don't need to stay in the Ministry of Magic every day. In fact, I will only give you two suggestions. Whether you want to complete these tasks is up to you, and now there is exactly one of them that should be suitable for you. Task. Are you going to live so soon? Ryan thought of taking the parchment paper that Dor had handed over. This was an invitation, with a golden paint drawn on it with two golden crosses on it. The crest of three stars appeared on each wand. Boss Barton's 700th anniversary. After Ryan unfolded the stationery, Hermione whispered the content above. We sincerely invite representatives of Hogwarts to participate. This is the representative of Hogwarts. What is the relationship with the Ministry of Magic? Well, it can be said that this is an official celebration. Director Dor said. Official celebration? What does that mean? Hermione looked puzzled. It means that we can send representatives to talk about some things through this celebration and talk about some things that can't be discussed on regular occasions. Dor explained, you know, out of fear of the mysterious people. Now the Ministry of Magic in various countries, especially in Western Europe, can only default to the legality of the London Ministry of Magic, so we cannot send people to the Ministry of Magic in the name of France liaises there. In this case, we can only hope that you can cover the real negotiators to negotiate there as school representatives. Chapter 643, set off. Wait. Didn't the mysterious man re-establish a Hogwarts in the South? Lane suddenly thought of a question. In this case, how can we represent Hogwarts to Booth Barton to attend this ceremony? You don't have to worry about this, because the invitations are sent directly to Hogsmeade. Dor said, there is still a difference between the school and the Ministry of Magic. The French Ministry of Magic is afraid of mysterious people, but Booth Barton is different. Even the mysterious people themselves dare not underestimate Hogwarts, where Dumbledore sits. So it is only us who admits Hogwarts internationally? and no one admits the inferior imitation made by the mysterious person. Dot. Okay, get it, Lane nodded. So when do we set off? The day after tomorrow, Dor said, glancing at the time behind the invitation. We will arrive at Hogsmeade at 10 o'clock the next morning, and then we will depart from here. Principal Dumbledore will provide appropriate transportation. Understood. We will come on time the day after tomorrow. Ryan and they confirmed what they were going to say to bid farewell to Dor, and left the Ministry of Magic after receiving their and Hermione's documents downstairs. On the third morning at 9.30, Ryan came to the entrance of Hogsmeade in their dress gowns as required. But after looking around at the place, I found that there was no one except the two at the scheduled place. Why didn't I see the real negotiator? Hermione asked strangely after looking around. Isn't it said that there will be a real ministry member who will go to France with us? I don't know. Ryan also felt a little strange. In theory, that person should have arrived. But it doesn't matter if we don't arrive. We just need to complete our tasks according to the plan. Look, what's that? Half an hour later. Just as Ryan started to get bored, Hermione suddenly whispered, 
pointing at the sky towards Hogwarts Castle. This is carriage. Lane recognized what was flying in the sky, but this car is too exaggerated. Because there are only three people going to France this time, and the distance is not too far, it is obviously inappropriate to use the Hogwarts Express. So the school sent a carriage as a means of transportation. Unlike the huge pink blue horse-drawn carriage that the teachers and students of Booth Barton took in the fourth grade, the carriage that is flying now is exactly the same size as the carriage that took them to school from Hogsmeade Station. It's just that the compartment is not ordinary black in color, but the local gold that is consistent with the main color of the Hogwarts school badge. When the carriage fell in front of them, Ryan discovered that the colorful things that he had just pulled in front of him were not strange magical creatures, but just ordinary night chicks. Unlike the Yichi they have seen, these eight Yichi are all dressed in pairs, mainly embroidered with the colors of each college and college embroidered with their respective college emblems and horse armor made of silk. Feeling a little strange, Hermione stared at Yi Chi pulling the car and said, Why are these Yi Chi wrapped so tightly? No way, Yi Chi represents death. Although this is just superstition, but Ryan said that she had spread her hand. We are attending an official celebration this time, not an official funeral. The cars that they pull are not suitable. But in this case, there is nothing else that can pull the car, so wrapping them will be at s understandable. After opening the door, Ryan found that the car was much larger than it looked on the outside just like a small reception room. It was just that the man sitting on the sofa drinking tea surprised Ryan. Why would the tenvoy of the Ministry of Magic be you, Mr. Malfoy? Ryan asked with some surprise after the carriage took off. It's really amazing. The middle-aged man sitting opposite him is Lucius Malfoy. Although he is very well dressed now, his platinum hair is also waxed with some unknown wax, but from his eyebrows he could still see an indelible tiredness. Why can't it be me, Mr. Liang? Lucius Malfoy looked very gentle and did not have the arrogance to the hemp seed wizard that Ryan had imagined. This visit was proposed by me to President Dumbledore. I think I can find more helpers to fight against the Dark Lord through my family's relationship on the European continent, and also atone for my previous behavior. No need to talk about these scenes anymore. Hermione interrupted Lucius Malfoy's statement impolitely. Your family is the standard Slytherin, and it is not your style to conscience to be self-denying in the future. Letting you, the number one traitor in the eyes of Death Eaters, risk your life and leave the safe hiding place, then this matter must be very relevant to you. Benefits. Mr. Malfoy, I hope you can confess what you think. Otherwise, I think it is difficult for us to allow an unintentional person to act with us. I really deserve to be Hogwarts' smartest student in recent years. Lucius said as he sat upright. The gentle expression on his face disappeared. I told you before that the name of your family to contact people on the European continent is not a lie, but the real purpose is to preserve the Malfoy family. After speaking of Lucius, they looked at Ryan and found that they did not show a contemptuous look like the standard Gryffindor like Sirius or Harry. Then they said, since the end of the last semester, we the family has been excluded from their circle by other pureblood families, and all their wealth has been divided. Under such circumstances, if the Malfoy family does not want to become like the Weasley family but have nothing but a surname, I must take some risks to show my value. And to be honest, Dumbledore and the Dark Lord are a completely different person. If I die this time, I think you will definitely help the Malfoy family pass on. Besides, we are not the kind of people who hate mouse from the bones. And there is no principled conflict with you. Lucius looked at Ryan and they said very seriously www.mtlenovel.com Of course, this is not to please you, frankly speaking, the Malfoy family will only choose the one that is good for themselves to surrender to the past. The one that was good for us in the past was the pureblood family and the old ministry of magic, and now it is you. After speaking, Lucius leaned on the sofa. Whether you believe it or not, these are my truths. As for what you choose to do, it is up to you to decide. Ryan and Hermione glanced at each other, and then Hermione asked through the Phoenix brand. Ryan, do you think that what Lucius said is true? Generally true, Lane replied as well. The group of Death Eaters has now divided the Malfoy family's property almost, even if the Malfoy family has hidden wealth, it will not be too much. As for the family knowledge, it depends on the person, the Weasley family is not the same is it because of their heritage, but not before the twins start their careers. So now the Malfoy family can only make enough contributions in this war with the mysterious people if they want to maintain their pride, so as to ensure that they will get enough rewards after the victory. I know their family is not a good person, but as purely beneficial animals, they are still credible enough if their interests are the same. That means we can cooperate with him this time? Hermione asked. Yes, just keep an eye on it. After finishing the last sentence with a phoenix brand, Lane reached out to Lucius Malfoy. So wish us a happy cooperation this time. Happy cooperation. Lucius also stretched out his hand and held it with Ryan, with a relieved smile on his face. Chapter 644, Booth Barton. After shaking hands with Lane, Lucius seemed to relax a lot. In the following time, he began to tell Ryan and Hermione some stories about European pureblood families in order to show his sincerity in cooperation. As a family that continues to marry European pureblood families in order to avoid the marriage of close relatives, 
The Malfoy family does know a lot about pure blood wizards in Europe. The general situation is like this. We will mainly meet some members of the French pure blood family this time when we go to Booth Barton. I will introduce them here first. As for the others, I will introduce you on the spot. That's enough. Thank you anyway, Ryan said seriously. Lucius Malfoy's explanation made up the most problematic part of him. Before that, he had no way to figure out the wizarding world. Enmity and resentment between families. No thanks. Lucius stood up with his cane. This is also the value of my participation in this operation. It is a job that falls within my responsibilities. Well, I will take a break now. Come to me if you have something. After he finished speaking, he turned to the back of the sofa and pushed away the lounge. The door went in. Is worthy of being the head of the pure blood family. After talking about these things, he knew that he was not welcomed by Ryan and they simply made an excuse to leave space for Ryan and Hermione. Was speechless all the way. After a four-hour flight at two o'clock in the afternoon. They finally arrived at a predetermined location near Perpignan, an open space in a mountain forest. After seeing the carriage, Ryan saw that there were already two small pink horse-drawn carriages waiting for him. A young wizard wearing a blue silk robe is waiting here. Welcome you, guests from Hogwarts, the wizard said in French, and then extended a hand to make a please gesture. Please get in the car. The next journey will be completed by the rune carriage. Booth Button will guarantee that your carriage will remain intact until you leave. It seems that not every school is as willing as Hogwarts to share the secrets of his school with everyone. After getting on the bus, Hermione looked at this luxurious carriage curiously, and finally the site felt to be completely covered by a lot of decoration on the carriage. This car can't see the outside scene at all. That's for sure. Ryan took a beautiful looking creamy dessert from the table and said after taking a bite. In fact, the whole of Europe, our Hogwarts is a special case. The school builders vowed to spread their knowledge. Therefore, it was expressed that the Hogwarts position is open to the wizarding world. An open academic attitude. The distance between the scheduled location and Booth Barton is not far away. They just reached their destination after flying for more than 10 minutes. After the carriage came to a standstill, the door opened automatically. The Booth Barton School of Witchcraft and Wizardry appeared in front of them. Unlike Hogwarts castle-like buildings, Booth Barton is composed of a dozen palace-like buildings. The main bodies of these buildings are made of red brick and grey granite, and there are many exquisite sculptures and gilded iron railings. The top of the roof is dark blue, with a lot of gold-plated decoration. The overall gives a sense of grandeur. Now they are standing on a square inches the middle of a concave building. The whole square is covered with black and white marble tiles. In the center of the square is a small fountain made of white marble. In the middle, there are more than ten golden sculptures of mythical figures placed on the bronze gilded base with beautiful reliefs. Nicholas Flamel and his wife. 1427. Ryan whispered the content of the gold plated bronze sign on the marble. Yes, this is the fountain donated by one of our most famous alumni at Cole Bloom. After hearing Ryan's muttering, the senior senior Booth Barton who was leading the way said straightly, To this day, we also have the best alchemy courses in Europe. Even in the world, only is the Eye of Horus in Egypt, the Palace of Wisdom in Babylon, and the Alchemist Academy in the Celestial Dynasty can compare with us. Speaking of this, the young man paused and looked at Ryan. I heard that you, as a Hogwarts school manager, are also good at alchemy, so you can take a moment to communicate with everyone. Of course, Lay nodded. Oh, where are we going now? The headmaster's office, Mrs. Maxim is already waiting for you there. Following the young wizard along the white marble stairs to the fourth floor, Lane and the three of them walked into the headmaster's office of Booth Button. Ryan they have been to Dumbledore's office many times. If the first impression given by President Dumbledore's office is mysterious, then the first impression of Mrs. Maxim's office is simply large. Yes, the most intuitive feeling of this office is that it is big. For example, the spacious high back chair that can sit in two people and a huge desk, and the elegant but slightly huge woman. Nice to meet you, Ryan. As the last three champions, Ryan left a deep impression on Mrs. Maxim. So she recognized Ryan at once. I didn't expect you to grow up to the present level after more than two years. It's just a special case, Ryan said straightforwardly without a polite. It should be said that this is a very bad situation. I would rather still be an ordinary student to complete my studies. I am troubled by the newt exam and occasionally strolling by the lake with my lover. It is not so important that I have to bear so task. Yes, the situation is really bad now. Mrs. Maxime immediately sat upright. That's why I talked to you alone and specifically avoided the British Ministry of Magic representative who is now downstairs. I'm glad you made your choice now, Lane said. But what can we do when the French Ministry of Magic decides to remain neutral? At least from the day of school www.mtlnovel.com we have been fighting alone except for the very few materials from the Heavenly Dynasty. I'm sorry, because the first thing the French Ministry of Magic does is to protect our people, Mrs. Maxim said calmly. So in order to avoid spreading the war on this land, it is sometimes necessary to make some compromises. Of course. I certainly understand your traditional approach, Ryan nodded. After all, this war belongs to us now. But I need to point out that the mysterious people's ambition is definitely not just Britain. Once we can't support it, 
Their next expansion goal is very obvious, of course we understand this, at least I understand this, Mrs. Maxim said slightly, raising her voice seriously. So I hope that there is now a connection and cooperation between the two schools at Booth Barton and Hogwarts. Thank you. Ryan bowed to Madame Maxim again from the heart. They knew that this behavior was not the behavior of the Ministry of Magic, but as the only school of magic in France. These actions of Bush Parton can also represent a view of France on both sides of the current British war. Despite the idea of not wanting to get involved in the war, the French Ministry of Magic defaulted to the British Ministry of Magic in London. But in order to avoid Voldemort's ambition to expand further, the French magic world decided to provide some assistance to the Hogwarts side through the connection between Booth Barton and Hogwarts School. In the 20 minutes after, four people talked about the content of the aid. Fortunately, before finally leaving, they finally reached an agreement that was satisfactory to both parties. Chapter 645, Protocols and Traps. This agreement is not bad, we just need to pay for some marginal knowledge that is not important. But every month we can get a certain amount of the medicine we urgently need. In addition, the most important thing is that we can put those needs the wounded with complex magical protection and treatment are transferred. After all, San Mungo is not safe anymore, and everything in the new location is a bit crude. After carefully reading the final agreement, Lucius commented seriously. It's just a way for the French wizards to defend their enemies beyond their borders. As the most enlightened country in Europe in terms of blood, they absolutely don't want to have neighbors like mysterious people. In this case, we give blood and life pay money and manpower. This is fair, Ryan said. Even if we don't pay them anything, these things will be given in the end, but in order to maintain a good relationship between the two sides, we still pay something. You are right, Lucius said. I must take back some of my previous prejudices. Although you are from Mulls, you are more accurate than most pure blood wizards in the current situation. After listening to this sentence, Ryan and Hermione smiled at each other. The reason why they can see so accurately is not because of their talents. Instead, their accumulated rich experience after several worlds combined ruled more than 10 million people. The following week, Ryan and Hermione started a communication event in Booth Button. After discussions with French alchemists, both sides were quite rewarded. In addition, they also participated in several banquets to connect with each other. Of course, they also met people from the Ministry of Magic in London at the banquet. Although both parties wished to strangle each other, fortunately neither Ryan nor they were sent by the Ministry staff to be the kind of fanatics who could not control themselves, so they were able to stay calm on the French site. In addition, Ryan and Hermione also went to many worlds to hoard a large number of supplies. After knowing that this time the special envoy was Lucius Malfoy, they formulated a large plan of action. Lucius Malfoy did not participate in these activities. During this time, he has been secretly contacting the pureblood wizards in France and individual British exiles for the Hogsmeade Ministry and Hogwarts. Ryan's public activities during this period were actually from a certain point of view to cover Lucius. When they were ready to return at the end of the week, Lucius also showed his achievements. Under his activities, the previously completely cut off trade with Europe was reopened, although in terms of quantity, it was only 1 105. But at least the looming problem has been successfully solved. After the celebration on Friday, Ryan and they also ended the visit and prepared to return to Hogwarts. However, unlike when they came, they returned with the use of space equipment to purchase much needed supplies. Even the way of returning has made some changes. After saying goodbye to Mrs. Maxim, Ryan and his wife returned to the landing point when they came to France in the carriage of Booth Button. After the Who had watched Bush part and drove the carriage away, Ryan pulled out his saddle from the space pocket and unloaded Yi Chi from the carriage. Are we going to ride Yi Chi back now? Lucius Malfoy asked puzzlingly. I clearly learned from my son. No, no, it's just that the two of us rode back together, and you only need to pay for one hair. Ryan waved his fingers at Lucius, and then looked at his smooth and smooth water. Blonde. You guys want to Lucius thought about something at once and at the beginning said a vigilant look around to change the topic. Then wish you all the best. Thank you for your blessing. Ryan nodded to Malfoy, and then Hermione stepped forward and took Malfoy to disappear. Ryan opened the space door and summoned the Rose Crystal. Good morning, my elder brother. Rose Crystal walked out of the door of the space very gracefully to Ryan, and then raised her head. It's great to fight alongside you again. Nice to hear you say that. Ryan opened the space door and took out a puppet. You will enter this puppet and pretend to be me but you can give up this disguise as soon as you encounter an enemy. Understood. Rose Crystal nodded and got into the puppet. A few seconds later, the Ryan figure opened his eyes. Are you ready on this side? At this moment, there was a snapping sound next to her, and Hermione got out of the thin smoke. At this time, she had sent the old Malfoy back to Hog. Watts, and ensure that Lucius Malfoy will not appear in front of anyone before they go back. Okay, Ryan said, taking the platinum long hair in Hermione's hand and putting it in her mouth to look like Lucius Malfoy and then took out a set of the same as Lucius just now. Smelford wore the same dress as he wore. Put on this travel cloak. Hermione threw a gorgeous velvet cloak. This was given to me by old Malfoy just now. 
He thinks it's hard for you to pretend to be his temperament, so let you wear this travel cloak directly and wear a hood so that the interceptor can't see your face. Also, the first mantra he encountered after encountering an enemy was a life-spelling mantra, Summer of Death. Fortunately I can pretend to use a newly learned spell this time. After that, Ryan put the travel cloak on his body, and then put the hood on his head. After finishing the dressing, he saw her puppets controlled by Hermione and Rose Crystal also put on similar cloaks. Let's go. With Ryan's order, the three kids with their horses removed flicked away like dragon wings. This creature's climbing speed is no worse than the ordinary flying broom, and soon Ryan found that the forest clearing he took off has become a vast green forest. Do you think someone will actually kill us today? The wind in the sky was so strong that people could not open their mouths, so Hermione asked Ryan simply through the Phoenix brand. It's not a comfortable thing to fly in the wind for five or six hours in vain. It must be, Ryan said, staring at the blue sky ahead. Don't forget that the Malfoy family is now at the top of the list of people the mysterious person wants to kill www.mtlnovel.com and the first two days although Lucius did notice concealment when contacting those people, but there were too many people he contacted. In this case, he and the two of us would definitely not be able to conceal the matter of traveling together. So, the mysterious man and his men will definitely ambush us. Because for the mysterious man, letting a traitor like Malfoy live there is a great challenge to him. Even his foundation will be shaken because the mysterious man relies on his strong and brutal control of his subordinates. Once he appears weak, his rule will lose stability immediately. I feel it. Hermione suddenly said at this time, there is a strange bird that has been following about five or six hundred meters behind us. This should be the attacker's eyeliner. The power of death made Hermione more sensitive to creatures than ordinary people, so the magical creature, at most the size of a ping pong ball, could not hide her whereabouts. They shouldn't be attacking now. This is France. The attack here may trigger this unpredictable event. I guess they will do it again after we leave the French border for some time. But this is also good, no one is watching. Many things were convenient for us at the time, Ryan said to Hermione. After focusing on the spot where he pointed out, he found that they were followed by a bird similar to the golden flying man, but the feathers were all black. Yes, it seems like a mantra. Let's fly a little above the clouds, it's better to disguise it if it's disguised. After determining that someone was watching, Ryan climbed above the clouds and flew west. Chapter 646, Counterattack. Does the bird follow? After flying directly north from Brest on the top of the Brittany Peninsula into the English Channel, Lane asked Hermione through the Phoenix brand. Follow. Hermione replied in surprise. We have rested twice between us, but the bird hasn't changed. This is what a bird can actually fly for more than three hours without resting. Do you need to get rid of the bird first? Rose Crystal suddenly proposed. I think a wizard like Lucius Malfoy should not be so vigilant in this case. A bird should follow for hours. Found. You're right, and it's just a good time to kill the bird. After that, Ryan flew backwards with a Yichi. Then he released a finger of death at the bird. A green light flashed, and the little bird immediately fell towards the sea like a rock. Okay, the other party should confirm our identity now. Now we are flying west, Ryan said after returning to the queue. We will go around the west of Ireland for a while, and we should be able to disrupt the layout of the ambush. Half an hour later. They appeared over the sea dozens of miles away in Ireland. At this time the sea was covered with dark clouds, and Ryan and the three of them struggled to fly forward in the dark clouds. Suddenly a few green lights came from behind their right. Ryan, who had prepared in advance, quickly let the sitting knight ride quickly gather their wings and lower their height to avoid the blow. 7. Ryan quickly saw how many of those who were catching up. After seeing the equipment of the wizards, he quickly warned Hermione and Rose Crystal. The other party has a uniform and a uniform light wheel 2001 broom. This time it's not the kind of people we met before, but a trained elite squad. Understood, understood. Hermione and Rose Crystal replied in unison, and then the two of them quickly flew to both sides as if they were trying to escape. This behavior is very in line with the identity of the students they are now graduating from, and the attackers in the back also think so. At the moment Hermione and Rose Crystal flew to the left and right, the squad of the killer also divided two people to chase the two of them. Under the battle of a spell, they quickly flew into the clouds in the sky. It's gone. One to five. This time the difficulty has been reduced a lot. Ryan thought that at this time he recognized that the leader was the Erode Lux, then this team should be the Aurora or the Striker who fell to Voldemort. In the UK, only they can be regarded as trained and organized armed forces. It is also expected that such a position can be put on. And the spells that came from behind also illustrate this point. The position of these spells is very tricky. If Ryan can communicate with the nearly perfect manipulation of Ichi, any person should be beaten from the sky at this time. Dot. This distance should be enough. In a chase and escape, the people brought behind by Deluxe were getting closer and closer until they reached within 50 meters. Ryan launched the Madonna Rose to cut off their control of the flying broom. However, unlike the previous group of people, after discovering that the broom was out of control, the group immediately gave up the broom and floated in the air relying on the equipment on their body. 
they still guaranteed a roughly complete battle formation. He even fired two spells at Ryan to prevent him from taking advantage of it. You are not Lucius Malfoy. The leading deluxe has already reacted, you are the pink demon. This is seen by you. Ryan immediately stretched out the pair of wings like pink crystals in the back, and then flew up from Yi Chi's back with an elegant posture to avoid two life spells. Just as the five wizards looked at Ryan nervously with their wands, a short scream came from the left, and when they did not react, a purple light hit the wizard on the far left. In the head, his head exploded like a balloon with too much gas. At the same time, a green light flew from the right and hit the rightmost wizard. The wizard fell directly from the sky without any sound, and then a small white wave splashed on the sea. Looked around in panic, and found that a little puppet wearing a purple dress and a brown-haired girl riding a yaki rushed down from the clouds on both sides. We are the errors and strikers of the Ministry of Magic, you can't. Before he finished his words, Ryan was forced to dodge to the side to avoid this blow by a pink light with powerful magic. But his two subordinates were not so lucky. After losing the flying broom, their movements in the air appeared extremely clumsy, and they were quickly killed by Hermione and Rose Crystal with magic. They should not be errors, but just blowers. Hermione told Ryan through the Phoenix brand. The real error level is not that bad. I practiced with Tunks in private before. Even if it is like Tunks, such novices are much more powerful than these people now, at least not because they lose their mobility after losing their brooms in the air. The practice of the authentic Olux also proves this point. After discovering that air combat is not an opponent, Deluxe immediately gave up the floating function of the magic props on his body and planted it to the sea. It seems that I hope to use some magic to escape from the sea as quickly as possible. However, his last hope was ended by a pink feather. Ryan directly ejected a flying feather on a back wing. This crystal-like feather broke through the heavy defense of Deluxe and directly infused it to him. Critical blow. It seems that today's ambush has done a good job and it can be regarded as quite rewarding. Rose Crystal flew to Ryan and said that it took a few minutes for several of them to open the space door and put all the corpses away, and called out Gilmore, after removing their traces. Hermione led the Phantom to the small town on the outskirts of London. I came here when I was very young, and it was as empty as I thought. Hermione used the magic wand to change the clothes of both people, and then walked out along the path. Ryan returned to its original state at this time. After looking around, I found that they were in a deserted park. This place used to be an affiliated town of a coal mine www.mtlnovel.com It's just that after the closure of the coal mine more than a decade ago, it was basically completely abandoned. Hermione explained in a small voice. We can find an unmanned house and slowly sort out the loot and take care of these bodies by the way. After walking out of the park, facing the gate of the park is a wide street, with red brick houses with double or even three floors on both sides of the street. It can be seen from the specifications of these houses and streets that this residential area was a very prosperous place in the past, but time took away all the prosperity. Now many of these residential areas have collapsed, and the glass has been broken. Large graffiti was painted on the wall. The thick leaves on the path at the door of the house indicate that this place may not have many people come for a long time. It's quite suitable for what we're going to do next. Hermione nodded with satisfaction and then Ryan jumped in from an empty black window frame. Why don't you use magic to open the door? Rose Crystal asked somewhat puzzled. I remember you have a dedicated magic to open the door. Of course not. Ryan turned his head and explained seriously. This place is too close to London, we must use as little magic as possible to prevent the enemy from finding it wrong. Understood. Rose Crystal nodded, then flew away to help Hermione deal with the spoils on the corpses, and by the way help the corpses to have a facelift for the next step. Your product is selling well. Hermione rolled a silver bracelet from Deluxe's wrist and waved to Ryan. Now it will become the standard for both the enemy and us. Chapter 647, Raid, On. The arms dealers who do not sell arms to both sides of the war are failed arms dealers. Ryan chuckled and took the bracelet and looked at the number above. Fortunately, this is the batch of goods we sold to the Ministry of Magic before the outbreak of war. Sometimes this low-level product is really difficult to avoid losing to the enemy. This should be an elite squad, Hermione said looking at the stack of bracelets beside her. She drew six bronze bracelets and one silver bracelet from these seven people. Something similar to smoke bombs or refraction rings. If this group of people had dispersed their forces at the beginning and did not expect that the broom would suddenly fail in midair, it would be a waste of effort to clean up them. It is indeed elite, Lane replied. Moody S told us before that there were very few us who really stayed on the side of the mysterious man, so a team like the London Ministry of Magic would not have more than five. A great victory, my elder brother. Rose Crystal raised her right hand and made a toast. After going back, we must have a good feast. No problem, Ryan said, putting his hand on Rose Crystal's silk-like hair. Rose Crystal rubbed Ryan's palm gently with her head. After you go back to what you want to eat. Give me a list. There is a group of working hobbits in the Hobbit restaurant in River Valley City. One of them was the champion of last year's cooking competition in Bagdi. After 20 minutes, 
All the loot that was eye-catching was raided by Ryan and they didn't even let go of the copper nut in the gap of the clothes pocket. Looking at the seven corpses with only clothes left, they were taken into the Wanji grocery store by Rose Crystal. Ryan said, well, the next step is to stuff these things back to the Ministry of Magic in London. We need to let them learn to fear and learn stop the persecution of those hamp wizards and mulls. Yes, it's time to start the next step. I really didn't expect them to dare to do this. I'm ready, let's go. Hermione put away a sheepskin found from Deluxe just now looking at it. The paper roll stood up, and then held one of Ryan's hands with rose crystal. After a crisp explosion, they disappeared from the house. Slap, after a slight noise, Ryan and the three of them appeared in a small, dimly lit house. From the broken furniture in this house, there were piles of broken tiles. The abandoned documents all indicate that this is a utility room. Fortunately, last time we used to hide this utility room, they haven't changed their use. Look at the ash here. I guess this house hasn't come in for at least a year. Ryan looked at the dark space around him, speaking. We need to discuss the next step, after all, we only have three people. I can call all the sisters, Rose Crystal said with her hand raised. No, no more, Ryan said looking at the rose crystal purple eyes. Our action this time is mainly to deter and show our presence at the same time, so we don't need so many people. The biggest difference between the world of wizards and the world of ordinary people is that wizards still respect power. For example, Dumbledore was considered the greatest white wizard not because he proposed a new usage of dragon blood or the principle of Hogwarts, but because he defeated Green, the most powerful black wizard in Europe at the time. Vor. Therefore, Ryan, who wants to do something in the current situation, must show her strength so that she can attract like-minded people and this time the attack on the Ministry of Magic in London is for the same purpose. Of course, in order to avoid Dumbledore stopping for some reason. Prior to this operation, he only told Dumbledore that he would use Lucius Malfoy to draw Snake out of a hole to make an ambush. He did not tell him that he would attack the Ministry of Magic after the ambush. Then what is our main attack target, Ryan? You know the information I just saw Hermione took out a map of the Ministry of Magic from her arms and asked. Although we have made a plan before. It was prepared for a large-scale war. There are too many key points in the plan that need to be attacked. The three of us can't do it at all and need to be screened. Today only attacked here. Ryan pointed to a red space on the first floor. Hermione stepped forward and found that the space was marked as the Mulberth Registration Committee. If you destroy this place, on the one hand, you will express an attitude. On the other hand, you will destroy the information about the Mulborn wizards collected in it to facilitate the escape of persecution by the Mul wizards in the occupied area. The most important thing is that people working in the department are not innocent anyway, and they can avoid accidental injuries to the greatest extent. Good idea, Hermione and Rose Crystal nodded at the same time, and then opened a small space door to take out magic props from the inside to arm themselves, the most of which is a bottle with green liquid. We're all set, then we're ready to act. Let's set it here for 30 minutes. After everyone had packed it, Ryan twisted the metal ring on a pen-sized fuse for timing and then a large box Weasley's fireworks packed together. Our operation must end within half an hour, otherwise it will be too easy to accidentally hurt when more and more enemies are coming. After preparing the timing device, Ryan put a series of stealth magic on themselves and walked out of the utility room. Their present position is outside the Department of Mystery Affairs on the ninth floor, because Phantom Shift can only go to where they have been, and Ryan they are only familiar with the Department of Mystery Affairs and the hall on the eighth floor and come to what they want to do now. It is obvious that it is more appropriate to set up near the Department of Mystery than the crowded hall. There are very few people on this floor, but not completely. Soon they mixed a lift to the lobby, and then followed a group of wizards in black robes to another lift and went straight to the first floor. After the golden fence door opened, Ryan found that there was a thick carpeted aisle in front of them. On each side of the aisle was a bright and light wooden door, and on each door was a small sign with the names and names of the people in the house. Job title. The scale here is really not small. Hermione's voice sounded in Ryan's mind through the Phoenix brand. It seems that the Ministry of Magic still attaches great importance to this Mulberth Registration Committee, otherwise it will not let go. To this level. You are right, but this is good news for us. Ryan replied. Maybe we can have some unexpected gains in this attack. At this time, there were only three of them in the corridor, which seemed quiet. There is no busyness, speech and hurried footsteps of the ordinary institutions. Fortunately, the floor was covered with a fuchsia carpet, so that neither Ryan nor Hermione heard footsteps. After turning around a corner and walking for a while, the aisle leads into a spacious area. A dozen male and female wizards sit at rows of small tables www.mtlnovel.com These tables are similar to the single desks in the school. All the wizards sitting behind the table waved and turned their wands in unison and many square-colored papers floated in the air like dark green kites. Soon these pages of paper were gathered and folded, and after being fixed with magic, they were neatly stacked around each wizard. The threat of mud species to a peaceful pure-blood society, Rose Crystal flew quietly to a table, and then told Ryan what he saw through the connection in his brain. Judging from the pictures she passed in, 
Ryan found that the silver text was printed on the dark green cover. Below was a red rose painted tightly held by a green grass with fangs and a fierce look. The petals in the center is a smirking face. It's really stupid and outdated propaganda, Ryan thought, but people who read these magazines should have such IQ. Opposite this small printing factory there is an oiled mahogany door with a brass sign nailed on it. Rankhorn Albert, director of the Mull Birth Registration Committee. I know this person, Hermione said through the Phoenix brand. Ginny once told me that this guy used to be the Magic Law Enforcement Division and was famous for his pure blood theory. Mr. Weasley had quarreled with him several times, but he didn't expect him to do this now. This is normal, Lane replied in the same way. The Ministry of Magic under the mysterious man has basically become a scum concentration camp. If there are still many officials who are forced to serve, then all administrative officials can basically be sure that all are those who support pure blood. On the scum that supports the rule of the mysterious man. Chapter 648, Raid. Middle. The Ministry of Magic in London now maintains a very high level of alertness. For example, Ryan and Hermione learned from the group of people just now that they must have a recognition coin to enter the Ministry of Magic. As I walked on the floor, I also noticed that many hitters in grey uniforms were walking around. But it may be out of trust in this defence, or it may be because the overly complex defence system will greatly reduce the efficiency of the Ministry of Magic. The Ministry of Magic's internal defence is still extremely lax. Take the mahogany door in front of us, there is no defence magic above. But just stepping forward to open this door is a stupid way, because there are more than a dozen sorcerers in the open space now. If the door of an empty office opens in front of them, it is difficult to imagine that no one will notice. Fortunately, the magic tricks of the last time I went to the Fallon World New School came in handy. A simple trick outside the silent door plus a first-class silent phantom made them easily slip into this office and close the door. This office looks like a nouveau riche. There are a lot of gold inlays on the walls and furniture and the green velvet wallpaper makes people feel that the whole office has an over-decorated feeling. Looked clean on the table, except for a brand new stack of parchment paper and a set of gold fill ink bottles and feather pens. And in the transparent glass cabinet behind it, there are only some works of art that seem precious. This is an office, how can it be made like the tea room or smoking room in the noble castle? Rose Crystal asked curiously after flying around this small office. You're still careless little fellow. Ryan carefully perceived a smiling staring at a green velvet gold wall at the back of the house, and then emitted a pink light that hit the place he just stared at. Dot after an extremely subtle magic wave, the living wall was slightly twisted like a water ripple, revealing a mahogany door. A simple vigilance spell, which is easy to deal with. Hermione stepped forward and looked at the door. A shadow came out of her hands and penetrated into it. After a few seconds, the door automatically moved. With a click rose up, behind the door is a small secret room. Next to the wall is filled with file cabinets full of folders. After checking that there was no other magic, Ryan walked in. The folders are sorted by type and alphabet, and each folder has a name posted on it. The names on the file cabinet and the folder are red, yellow and green. Red means absolute hostility, yellow means suspicious, and green means cooperation. The folders on each file cabinet are sorted by the first letter of the last name. Soon Ryan found his folder which was placed on the red filing cabinet. He didn't go to see that folder, because he could guess what would be written in the folder, nothing more than how he opposed Voldemort and some comments. In the next few minutes, he filled more than 20 bottles of green wildfire jars in the house, then set a 15-minute time fuse and a pull fuse connected to the secret door. The action went more smoothly than we planned, Hermione said after returning the door to its original state. Are we going to clear a few guys on the list next time? No. I have changed my mind now, Lane said. It's not that important to remove other people. I think our next task should be to raid the interrogation room. Why raid there? Hermione asked somewhat puzzled. Does it make sense to do this? Of course it makes sense. Ryan handed a piece of parchment to Hermione, which he had just discovered in the archive room. This is the timetable for the trial? Hermione exclaimed in a small voice after glancing at the parchment slightly. In the tenth trial is the trial of the evil people who snatched the magical lineage. Ten trials a day. Are they crazy? Think of Auschwitz. Hermione, Lane said, sometimes things are not about people losing their minds, but when they are fighting for interests between different forces, they always have to make a sound excuse. So the next time, I think we should go to that court to rescue those innocent people as much as possible. That's right. Hermione nodded. It is more important to save the innocent than to destroy the enemy. The enemy will not be eliminated this time and there will be a chance next time. But once the innocent is injured, it cannot be recovered. After unifying their opinions, the three men recovered their invisibility and left the office in a hurry to walk towards the elevator. Fortunately, there were not many people going to the hall, and soon they turned again from the hall to the tenth courtroom. There was no elevator in the tenth courtroom to reach it directly. Ryan and they could only use the elevator to go back to the level of the Department of Mystery Affairs, and then walked along an empty corridor with only torches to the black door of the division, and then walked down the intersection on the left. After walking to the bottom floor, Ryan suddenly felt that the temperature had suddenly dropped, 
and even hoarfrost hung on the stone walls on both sides. At the same time, Ryan felt an abnormal sense of despair hit their hearts. Dementors, Ryan thought of this at the same time, even if these things have been cleaned up before. But this dark creature that survives in the shadows is as tenacious as cockroaches, especially in this period of despair and pain, it is really very conducive to their reproduction, life, and growth. For example, a little time had passed since that thorough cleansing, and Voldemort had so many dementors squatted at the door of the courtroom. Was naturally prepared for this situation. He pulled out a thick stack of spells from his arms, and then signaled Hermione and Rose Crystal to be vigilant about the direction of the gate. After all preparations were made, Ryan directly skipped the last corner, and then left and right hands crossed and threw all the spells in his hands before the group of dementors did not respond www.mtlnovel.com and the worst situation in the imagination is different. After the two previous deconstruction of the dementors, the dementor group should be hit by the broken bones, even if the number has recovered, it will not return to the grandeur of the past. For example, there are far fewer dementors at the entrance of the court compared to the original one. Only eight dementors stand there in a formation of four on the left and right, which is less than one third of the number of runes prepared by Lane. This resulted in three or four spells on each body of the Dementors standing in front of the courtroom. After those spells touched the surface of the Dementors, a group of spells appeared in the center of the spell, a blue flame like bellflower. After the flames ignited, the Dementors' original intention to rush was immediately stopped, and then he began to fly wildly in the corridor. At the same time, a large group of black mist burst out from the body and rushed towards the fire. But all this is of no avail, whether it is a broken robe, rotten skin like a drowned person, or even the smoke from the Dementor trying to extinguish the fire itself is lit by this blue flame. The faint blue flame spread very quickly, and just a few seconds later, the eight Dementors burned into eight sky blue fireballs. At this time, the Dementors were burned by these special magical flames and finally the people in the court heard, and with a clatter, the heavy black gate of the court opened. A young wizard wearing a blow hand uniform, but holding his sleeves to his elbows and revealing dark marks, walked out with a wand. The mud type is being tried here. Who is here? Chapter 649, Assault, Part 2. There is an interrogation in the interrogation room under the Ministry of Magic, and eight Dementors are also flying around the patio on the roof of the interrogation room. Chill and despair envelop the room. On the high platform directly opposite the door of the room, the Mulberth Registration Board Director Len Cowan Albert was barking the like a mad dog. Dirk Cressway, you are suspected of forging genealogical evidence, what else can you say now? You can't do this to me, my magic is born, not from where it was robbed. Also. I have worked diligently for the Ministry of Magic for twenty years, and there have been no mistakes tied to the chair below Dirk Cressway said angrily. At the same time, a sobbing sound came from the seat, it was a middle-aged woman with brown hair. She and a group of Mulborn wizards who came to court were huddled in a pile of fear, shaking on the hard wooden bench. Several wizards covered their faces with their hands, perhaps instinctively trying to keep away the greedy mouth of the Dementors. Some are accompanied by family members, others are sitting alone. The Dementors fluttered up and down flying by in front of this group of people from time to time, absorbing joy and spreading despair. Shut up, you filthy mud kind. Luncone Albert scolded with wide mouth, and even his saliva splashed on Cresswell's face below. After scolding, he turned his head to speak to a blonde middle-aged witch with short sleeves showing dirt eater marks. Mary, write it down. This is an unrepentant mud type. He should be kept in a black jail and slowly rot away with the dementors. Yes, I wrote it down. The middle-aged witch named Mary quickly waved her quill pen and under the light of a jackal-like patron saint, the witch looked pale without much blood. After making sure that what he said was written down, Albert turned his head back and was about to open his mouth and insulted the crowd of hemp-seed wizards. Suddenly, there was a unique scream of dementors outside the courtroom. Rupert, let's see what happened. I hope some overstretched people try to rush in again. Albert commanded the short-sleeved Death Eater striker standing at the door, and then then look at the group of hemp-seed wizards. This court represents absolute justice, and I swear, I will completely clean it up Lunker. Albert just started a new round of convulsions, but before he had finished speaking, he saw Rupert who had just gone out to inquire about the situation and ran through the door and flew in, with a purple crystal with a small arm thickness in his chest. In the interrogation room, there was no sound. When no one responded, the part of the crystal exposed outside the body exploded, and a large number of purple transparent crystal fragments flew toward the trial stage in a fan shape. Iron armor. Albert on the trial stage used a protective enchantment but the energy contained in these crystal fragments far exceeded their expectations. The protection of the iron armor was shattered the moment the crystal fragments touched then, those crystals caused seven or eight wounds on his body. He howled painfully, and Mary beside him didn't have time to release the magic at the moment when the crystal burst, but stooped to hide behind the trial table. However, it can be regarded as a straight hit. The explosion crystal prepared by Rose Crystal is mainly based on the removal of magic, 
and it is not much different from ordinary crystal in physical damage. So the thick solid wood hoop iron trial table successfully blocked the crystal fragments that hit Mary. Awada Albert took advantage of the confusion to raise his wand again, but before the spell was finished, I saw a lot of yellow paper flying in from the door, and most of the yellow paper flew toward the roof, turning the Dementors there into a mess. Blue fireball screaming and screaming, and the other part of the yellow paper went straight to Albert. One of them cut off the palm of his wand and the wand like a blade, and the remaining few nailed him to the trial chair. You who are you? Albert, who was completely unmovable, struggled to stare at the door of the black hole. A few seconds later, Ryan and Hermione appeared from the darkness in the corridor and entered the courtroom. This is a great place. Ryan ignored Albert, who was seriously injured. After looking at the courtroom, he signaled Hermione to explain the status quo to the tense quacks who were nervous and quivering like whales, ready to leave, then stepped up to the steps and came to Albert's side. It doesn't matter who we are, Lane said drawing a pistol out of his arms with his left hand and pointing it at Albert's head. He felt that for the director at the Mull Birth Registration Committee, being killed by a Mull weapon it is a very good way to die. The important thing is that we can use your life to warn everyone that there is only one way to kill innocent people. After finishing, Ryan pulled the trigger directly. After several consecutive gunshots, Albert's entire skull flew up, and it seemed that even the magic should not be rescued. Give me your wand. Ryan pointed his wand at Mary hiding under the table with her hands shaking and shaking her head. She didn't look like a death eater. Or I took it from your body. After listening to Ryan's words, Mary was forgiven. She took out his wand as fast as possible and then slid it along the floor towards Ryan. Ryan stooped to pick up the wand and said, Stay there, don't cause trouble. After watching Mary nod her head, Ryan stepped on the ground and walked down the trial stage. At this time Hermione had put Dirk Gressway down from the trial chair to let him stay with his wife and said to the group of hemp seed wizards, you should be with us next leave, and then go home and bring your children to escape. Just now you also saw what is happening now, and here you are not fair. Where can we go now, Mr. Liang? Chris Wei, who was tried before, asked his wife while supporting him. Do you know me? Lane was curious. Of course, most people here know you. Merlin Knight Medal 2, champion of the top three, we all said in private that you will be the greatest hemp wizard in the past 100 years. www.mtlnovel.com Crayway seriously said that most of the others here also nodded in agreement. It seems that his face of East Asians is really easy to recognize. Ryan thought of this and said, since you all believe me, then you can escape to the north after you go out. Professor Dumbledore built a strong resistance fortress there. If it is not convenient to go to the north, it is also a foreign a good choice. In short, the farther away from London's Ministry of Magic, the better. After watching the group of hemp wizards listen to their own words, Lane divided the two magic wands he had just seized into the hands of two people, but even so, half of the wizards did not have their own wands, because just before entering the interrogation room, these hemp wizards who are going to be tried today have been confiscated and removed their wands. Everyone without a wand now follows a person with a wand. Ryan arranged, you will move as fast as possible for a while, and we will try to make time in the main hall for you to leave. So what do you do? A dark-haired middle-aged witch asked. Now there are Death Eaters everywhere in the Ministry of Magic. How do you leave when they are surrounded? Don't worry. Hermione comforted. Since we can come in, we are sure to go out. So when you get to the hall, you just have to do your best to run out. The faster you run, the more time we have to leave here. Okay, let's go now. After all the preparations were completed. Ryan and Hermione took the more than 20 wizards and ran towards the elevator. Chapter 650, Withdrawal. Ryan and more than 20 people squeezed into the two elevators. The door closed, and the elevator began to rise. How long? Ryan asked. Hermione raised her hand and looked at the hands of the watch. In two minutes and fifteen seconds, the wildfires placed in the office of the Mulberth Registration Committee will explode. After three and a half minutes, the Weasley fireworks that were previously placed with the bodies will also be ignited. The woman in the interrogation room just now should have gone out to report, which should create some confusion. The only thing is to hope that she does not go out to report too early and let the exit be completely blocked. Ryan analyzed. If everything goes well, we only need to insist on five or six minutes after going up. Twenty people will be finished soon. Eighth floor, just after Ryan finished speaking, everyone with a magic wand was nervously holding the magic wand to prepare, and suddenly a witch in the elevator said indifferently, the main hall, move fast, rush directly to the fireplace, don't look back at any movement, looking at a large group of people in the hall, Ryan knew that it was absolutely impossible to sneak out with so many people this time, fortunately, the previous killing in the courtroom might have really scared the survivor, plus the location of the courtroom was relatively remote and no one noticed, so when this group of people ran into the hall smoothly, the hall was as usual, and there was nothing different from the previous situation, many people along the way felt a little strange that so many people lined up and ran to the hall, but under Voldemort's rule, there were so many strange things. If you want to live well, you have to learn not to be busy, 
so no one person stood up and asked what they were doing. The hall was a little darker than it was before Iron. It turned out that there was a golden fountain in the center, projecting a spot of light on the bright wooden floor and walls. And now, a huge black stone statue occupies the center position. At the top of this giant stone statue, a witch and a witch sit on the throne of gorgeous carvings, overlooking the entire hall. The bottom of the statue is engraved with a few words about one foot high, magic is power. Voldemort is really an honest man dare to inscribe such a big truth directly on the stone. Ryan thought after reading these words. But from this point you can also see that Voldemort is not a qualified Dark Lord. The true Dark Lord should be like Grindelwald. Even if he is doing evil things, he must find a way to overthrow the unreasonable secrecy. The slogan gathers hearts. Thinking about these things, Ryan wasn't idle. Under his and Hermione's greetings, the Melbourne wizards drilled into the fireplace in order and disappeared in pairs. The wizard of the Ministry of Magic stood hesitantly, some with a confused face some with dismay and dismay, but when they saw Ryan, they had a large number of people and were organized, so they just looked at it. Just two-thirds of people passed the fireplace and left, and the hall was finally commotion. Several blowers in a gray uniform touched a metal button on the neckline at the same time, and then ran towards the fireplace with a wand. Shout while running. Stop them. They are mud breeds who escaped from the court, and they just killed Abbott, the director of the Mulberth Registration Committee. Wow unlike the imagination of the group of strikers. The group of wizards who had been around the side did not directly pounce on the mud species as imagined, but screamed and fled, even if they fled. The shaman who was still there allowed for insulting the mud breeds is no exception. A group of idiots. Lane confessed in his heart that if the group of blowers said they were fledgling wizards, there would be a lot of people coming to hinder Lane's actions. In that case, even if these ordinary wizards are not strong, they can still cause a lot of trouble. But now the group of strikers directly shouted that this group of people can kill Abbott the director of the Mulberth Registration Committee in court. This news is too exciting for this group of ordinary people working in the Ministry of Magic. It's okay to deal with those fleeing mull wizards that they usually look down on, but if it's the kind of powerful and brutal wizard who directly killed the Mulberth Registration Committee director in court, after seeing that the front staff did not stop the group of hemp seed wizards as expected, the group of strikers had to speed up. But soon they stopped because at this time, neither their own shadow nor the wooden floor were trying to hinder their progress. Continue to run. Don't stop, Ryan shouted loudly at the stunned hemp seed wizards, and then waved his wand to make one after another wooden thorns attack the slickers on the smooth wooden floor. Hermione is also manipulating the shadows of these people into claws or ropes to hinder their progress. After seeing this scene, several strikers began to release various spells to Ryan. After avoiding a life spell, Ryan released a finger of death and killed the guy who blocked the road. After seeing that a companion was killed, the other strikers involuntarily slowed down their pace and the spells they came over were also sparse. This calmed down the remaining hemp seed wizards, stooped and trot, and retreated as planned. After 15 seconds, all the remaining eight hemp wizards successfully retreated along the fireplace. Just after the last hemp breed wizard left, a middle-aged wizard wearing a gorgeous and elegant robe inlaid with gold wire ran from the direction of the elevator. Unfortunately, his gloomy and slightly brutal face and his gorgeous clothes do not match. Grab those two little guys. Don't let them run away, the somber witch shouted with a sharp voice. Otherwise, none of you can escape the punishment of the Dark Lord today. Of course, if you can catch or kill them, the Dark Lord will give you enough rewards. The prerequisite is that they can live to that time. Ryan also shouted in a loud voice. Besides Voldemort, it is impossible to kill them all. Of course I can't. But whoever rushes to the front can kill me. After speaking, Ryan shot with another finger of death. www.mtlenovel.com The striker rushing to the front was directly hit by the green light and fell to his face. And there was a wooden thorn just behind him coming out of the floor and directly plunging into his back and popping out of his left eye frame. After seeing this scene, the morale of all the hitters who had just been inspired and rewarded and intimidated just now withered like a splash of cold water in front of them. No matter how inspiring the gloomy wizard was, intimidation or even a heart curse hit someone. Others still stayed in place. It seems that even if you occupy the Ministry of Magic, the smell of the mouse in the gutter can't be washed away. Ryan saw this scene with a satire, then raised his wand and shot at the large statue in the hall. A pink spell. After being hit by the curse, the statue collapsed like a sand structure. In the billowing smoke of the collapsed statue, Ryan took Hermione and Rose Crystal into the fireplace together. After spinning for a few seconds, they sprayed from a toilet. How much do the wizards love toilets? Ryan complained. When the Hogwarts were rebuilt, the Gunter family hid the secret room entrance in the toilet, and the Ministry of Magic also hid the entrance in the toilet. That's because the toilet is so concealed, and nobody cares about what's going on in the next compartment. Hermione shrugged, then listened nervously to the surrounding movement. According to the plan, they intend to ambush another wave here. On the one hand, it is to try to eliminate the other party's vitality, on the other hand, it is to create enough chaos to help those hemp wizards run further. 